Um, hello. Here we go. We're live, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Just checking. Hey, Pastor, how you doing? It's my old Grateful Dead this evening. Uh, of course, Pig Pen was the best lineup, of course. Yep. Hey, Tanya. Hey, BM, how you doing? Long time no see. Um... Absolutely. I'm going to put a link up. Take me a minute to get there. They put the cool and a whole lot more of the Kool-Aid on this night, no doubt about it. Copy the link. To the Grateful Dead from July 30th, 1966. At the put the link in the, in the chat. There it is. This is Rob Leeds. And go get it and pin it. I got to do that over here. Pin message. So it should be at the top of the chat now. I'm the Grateful Dead Show. Okay. Hey, Mary Downer, how you doing? Tanya, again, thank you. Uh, BM, good to see you. Once again, long time no see. So that's where we are. I shouldn't whistle either. I've learned that. I'll have a beer. Storm Dancer, hello, thank you for coming. Yes, cheers, Mary. Cheers. First sip is always the best. Tall boy, 25 ounce. So it's a fat boy. It's a, a tall boy is I believe 16 ounces, this is 25. This is two cans and an ounce. That's what that is. Hey Mike. Hey Fortuna. How you doing tonight? I see it. Yeah, you're drinking a big one too, huh? Cheers. Crazy. So, it's raining like hell here now. Coming down hard, the rain. But that's good because we could always use rain. Hey, Johnny L. You got rain. Yeah, raining. You got rain. You got rain. You and me, I got rain. What about you? You told me it was 90 degrees today. Not me. You got rain. I do, yes. I got lots of rain coming now. The thing is, when it rains here, it don't rain for very, like, it'll rain for a few hours and stop. We very seldom do we get day after day of, like, rain. Yeah, but it's good for those plants out back. Those plants need it. The plants are good. Listen, I'm thinking about two more weeks. We'll start start picking them. I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> I reckon it's probably, you know, probably a quarter pound of weed there. Probably. I want, I want to see what the buds look like. Yeah, when I pick them, I'll show you. Maybe more. There may be, I think there's, there's like a bunch of weed there. I want to see what the buds look like. 
when we get them off, I'll, I'll make sure. Oh, maybe I'll make a video or I'll put them in a live stream. I'll do something. So I saw BM make an appearance. I was hoping he'd hang around. Maybe he's here. And I gotta, uh, I gotta do something here for a minute. And let someone know. Let them buds get big. Oh yeah. Ah. I want to see which plant puts out the most. What I really want to do is go over by my brother's house and show you the plants growing over there. They're more I impressive. Hope so. They're more impressive than these, and and he's I hope got. So. He's got a, he's got more than me over there. He's got a bunch over there. Show us. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. I got to arrange it with him. He doesn't, you know, he's kind of private. You know, I'd have to be, I'd have to, he doesn't want to feel like I'm, 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 you know, showing him off to everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. I appreciate that. Just show a, mm -hmm. just show a quick video and then you're out of there. Yeah, I mean, I can do a quick video and post it. That's what I think I'll do. Hello, Terry M. Is Art here? Hey, Art. Sorry, I didn't see you sneak in. Maybe I'm not paying as much attention as I ought. Chat. Hello, Ellen. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, on a smartphone, you cannot see the chat and the panel at the same time. No, you can go back and forth, though, right? No, if I switch off the chat, I lose I lose the panel. So, so you can't ever see the chat. Well, if I see anything pertinent here like this, I'll post if it. You're on, if you're on a computer or a laptop, you can mm -hmm. see both. Or a tablet. Hey, Lloyd. How you doing, Lloyd? Um, I only have the stream yard on my laptop. I don't have the stream yard on my tablet. But I could live stream on my tablet. Yeah, I know. You can see you can see the uh, panel and the chat. Yeah, but I think what I want to do is download a stream yard on my tablet too, so I could stream yard when I'm down by the river. Because I, I don't I can't take my laptop down there. I don't have any any uh, service. Oh, sorry. I understand. <clears throat> Stan, 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 suffice to say, Mike, everybody in chat says hello. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for the live stream. Glad to be here. We'll see if anyone comes up. Sometimes I sit here for like a long time and then later in the night people come up. Yeah, we know that. Hey Shandy, how you doing? Everyone's gonna come in with Okay. Okay. Come on, Pepper. Okay. Pepper and Oreo got to go pee pee. Perhaps, Mary. Perhaps. Oreo. Pepper. 
I'm doing good, Shandy. Thank you for asking. Hello, Stella. I think Mike's dealing with one of his dogs. We'll listen to He's Gone. Hey, Dixie. Didn't mean to do what? I won't ask. Fix it, Dixie? Okay. How you doing, Dixie? I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. Mary, 20 or more. You could be saying hi for hours and new people keep coming in. Hey, Stacy. Uh, after Thanksgiving, um, you already had your Thanksgiving, Stacy. We don't have ours. So I think the third Thursday, maybe, of November, something like that. Maybe the fourth Thursday. I don't know. Some damn Thursday late in November, we'll have Thanksgiving. After that, I won't be shaving. I may even stop shaving before that. It depends really how the weather goes. Okay, Terry, do do well. Hello, Allison. How are you? Thank you for coming. Some damn Thursday, Mary. Yep. Hey, Darren. How you doing? Hey, let me put this in there. Darren, hello, buddy. I can't say chat, so hello, Darren.
Anyway, sorry about the noise. Don't even worry, Mike. I'm enjoying the music. I'm reading the chat because I'm not talking. And that's good. Uh-oh. Try that one. Doug. Cheers. I was going to comment that those, those, just those, uh, oh, cheers. Sorry. There we go. The chats I set up on my porch seem to be doing pretty well. The ones I set up on my porch, those chats, when people come and talk, that seems to be working out pretty well. Hey, girl. I'll thank, I'll, I'll thank hey, so local. because. The chats are staying on a long time, so let them roll. Yeah, well, people come and go. The numbers go up, go down, go up again. It's, it's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Sometimes that's, there's like a what. bunch of people, sometimes it's few, and then a bunch come back, you know? That's what I mean. Look, just let it stay on, and they come and go. Yes, they come and go. I let it stay. That's the idea. Now, the the... the, the the chat I set up on the porch, I really don't tend it very much. I'm not there. I'm doing other things. You know what I mean? But I do come and read and comment sometimes. Well, so, you don't have to be. You can no, come and go yeah. and let the, let the chat roll. Yeah. I think it's a good deal. You know why? What's that? People talk and uh, the chat rolls on. They talk chat about the street. Mm -hmm. They talk about the porch and the cars and the street and uh, the squirrel, and everybody's happy. Listen, I'll tell you what, though. I, I know the people who drive that van. Sometimes that van's parked right in front of my house. Uh, but I thought it, this is what I think, Mike. I thought it was fantastic today in the chat. When I saw everyone talking about Secret Squirrel in the van, that made me real happy because what it means is people are relaxed, enjoying themselves, and having fun in the chat. That's the whole point, and everybody's yeah. looking at and what's you know going exactly, on. And you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But hey, it was Dylan. fun. It was fun because everybody was looking at the street in the van. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Doug, yes, sir. Of everything to talk about, everybody was talking about a damn squirrel running across the street. You know, that's exactly what I mean. The people were relaxed enough to play a game in chat. And, and have fun with it, and everybody participated. You know, almost everybody. I don't know. I don't think everybody. I think Mike. I think some people come and watch the whole time and never say a word. Some people, that's okay. but that's fine. 
Yeah, girlfriend, listen to trucking right now. Um, that's fine with me. I have no problem with that. If people want to come and not talk, because I'll tell you the truth, Mike. I go to a lot of people's chats and I just read them. And I may or may not talk. And sometimes I talk for like a couple of minutes. And then I just sit there and read and I don't talk anymore. And I'm talking about people's live streams, not like chat rooms. You know, like I go to certain people's live streams. I'll say hello. I'll say hello to everybody. And then I just be quiet and sit there and read everything. You know? Well, here's what I think. I think you need to name it the porch chat with Doug. I need, the, hold por- on. the porch, the porch chat with Doug. With this, the porch chat with yes, Doug. the one, on, the one on the porch. Yeah, that's okay. what I said. Name it the porch chat with Doug, and let it roll, and everybody comes and goes. And, have and a just good let time. it roll 24-7? Well, that's what I'm saying, but that's up to Here's you. Here's the thing, though. I'm afraid, first of all, the device sits on the porch. It's not locked. Anyone can walk up on my porch, pick that thing up, and take it. Well, okay. Then run it from uh, 6 a.m. in the morning till, yeah. uh, till you to want to pull midnight. it in yeah, and then yeah. shut it off. And call it, call, it, call it the porch chat. Dutchman, high five. The porch chat. The reason I call it the block is because growing up, that piece of street we're looking at, that was called the block. That's what we called it. We used to go down on the bottom of that corner by that light and buy nickel and dime bags of weed. On the street, the guys would be standing there. Well, that's why I'm saying call it the porch chat with Doug and let the can roll for a certain amount of time. And then, 18, uh, hours, 18 hours a day is more or less what I could do. Well, that's up to you. Need six hours to sleep. Right? <laughs> well, I'm saying if you do it, everybody will come. That's my opinion. Call it the porch chat. I think it's fun to watch the people. I saw lots of comments about the car that blew right by the, the school bus. The school bus came up and stopped. The car going down the hill blew right past it. I saw a lot of talk about that in the chat. Um, it's fun. This is what I think is fun because there's things going on, not the least of which is the squirrels. But you know that the squirrels will get old after time goes by, Mike, right? Like the pelicans, right? I mean, they're funny for a while, and then people kind of move on from it, you know? Just just remember, I named it the porch chat with Doug. I'll do it. Uh, the next one. The next one, I'll do that, Mike. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try what you're saying, although I don't want it to get wet. The porch is open, and when it rains sideways, the porch gets wet. As long as it's not raining sideways, I think we're okay, though. My case coined another one. The porch set was done. Okay, I'll give you credit for that when I do it. I'm always inventing something new. I, the, the, the next porch. one's in the fridge. The porch chat, the por- absolutely. That could the be the porch. name of that could be the name of a talk show, even right. The porch chat with Doug. I named it. I own it. <laughs> Yep, I got it, Shandy. Just name it and leave the name alone. Okay. Because I'm always trying to give it a a different name. More or less, I don't know why I feel like distinguishing one from the next. Um, yep, by the river. Absolutely. I heard you, Art. I saw you before, and I got distracted. But, yes, Art, I plan on taking a drive sometime very soon up into the colorful leaves in New England up there. Um. Planning on it. Porch Pirates. Says call Larry. It you, call it what you want to, but I done named it the Porch Chat. I think the Porch Chat's pretty good because that sounds almost like a 70s talk show host. Talk, talk, talk show, you know, something like that. That's why I own it.
Well, anyway, it's my idea. I think it's a great idea, Mike. I'm not a little man. No, I'm not. What's everybody doing in chat? Hello, Doug. Yeah, that's the wall behind me. And the ceiling. Yep. All is good. New videos are up today. I'll tear out. Go all over East Texas. Doing good power work. And fixing the problems for people who have got bad jobs. All good. Well, Doug, where do you go? Anyway. Let's see what happens when I hit the chat button.
Well, that didn't work. So, so my Wi-Fi went down for like five minutes. Uh, so thanks, everything, thanks. everything crashed. I lost the, this, the tablet. I lost, I lost Sirius. I lost everything. Stranger than fiction. It's okay. I've been in the twilight zone for the last five minutes, Mike. I'm sure. But you know what I did? I, I, it came. I don't know why it went down, but it came back. Um, well, I'm glad. Yeah, me too. I'll post the link in the chat. I think I have it pinned to the top of the page. Um, I can't see chat, so it doesn't matter to me. Oh, you know what? I gotta go get it again because I, I I went down and came back. <clears throat> I gotta go get the link again. There it is. All I can see is Pamela and you. Yep. Well, if I see some noteworthy comments, I'll put them up. Here's a noteworthy comment. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know why. I don't know why on smartphones you can't see the chat and the family at the same time. I don't know why either. Well, I've tried, and you can't do it. So, well, I think I'm gonna get a smartphone. I think I'm gonna get a smartphone at Christmas time, Mike. Well, I've got a smartphone, and I'm telling you, I can't see, I can't see the panel and the chat at the same time. I don't know why. Yeah, but Mike, I mean, okay, yeah, not on the same phone. You can't can't on the same phone. I agree. Right. I'm not on a tablet. I'm not on a computer. So I can see the people on the panel, but I can't see the chat at the same time as the panel. Yeah, I got it. I don't know why. No, no, most people with a phone have the same issue. Well, I'm Samsung. Some people are on Apple or iPhone, and I don't think they can either. Um, Shandy, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> now, if you're on a tablet or a, if you're on a tablet or a computer, you can see both. Yep. Yeah, you can. Hi, Theta. Thank you for coming. So. By the way, Shandy is a good person. She has her own stream. Shandy? Shandy is a very nice person who has her own stream. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shandy, can post, Shandy can post your link. Anyone wants to post your link in my chat should feel free to do so. Um, let me just... Um, yeah. Anyone who wants to post their links should do it, and and post others if you like. There you go. Um, I met Shandy quite a while ago, and um, she's helped me a lot uh, when I first started live streaming. Um, I think she runs a very nice chat room. Absolutely. She, she's very knowledgeable in the uh, chat room and uh, mods and live streaming. Mm -hmm. She's been around a long time. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, longer than me, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable. I've been here now two and a half years, a little more than two and a half years. Um, yeah, you got two, yeah, you got two and a half. You're, a, you're an old timer. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people I, I still talk to have been here longer than me. But what I'm what I'm what I'm starting to do is figure out where to talk during the day. You know what I mean? There's a lot of places I go to live stream during the day. People live streaming. You know what I mean? And, and there's a bunch of them now. I've got I've got several dozen on my list that are 
that I that I may or may not go to at any time. Um, rather than talking in the unmodded public chats, which are full of you know drama, you know, and more. Dude, everything in the last five years has turned totally different. I believe it. I've heard other people say that too. Totally. It's nothing like it was five or ten years ago. Especially in the last two or three. Um, yeah. That, that's what people say. I guess chat used to be much more casual, right? Less less drama. It was back then, but not now. Today, Doug, Hello, it is, Doug, today it is attack everybody. Nobody is nobody is casual. Well, so it, it, depends where you, it depends where you chat, where you spend your time during the day. Mike, what I'm saying is I found several live streams where there's like actual people, you know, they may have funny names, but it's only the one of them. And um, and they're like real people. And so you sit there and you talk with real people. And it's much more, it's, it's better, you know, the unmodded chat rooms, um, they, there's, um, they leave a lot to be desired, you know. It's, it's, nice to have, it's nice to have a forum where you can say whatever you want. It's absolutely excellent. I think we need a forum like that. However, it doesn't mean you have to stay there all the time. You know Correct. what I mean? Yeah. Correct. Like, believe me, there's, there's good in, in, in places where people can just say whatever. I think that's good. If you're thin-skinned, you don't like it, you don't have to be there. Right? If you have, you know, enough of it because you're just, like, up to here, you go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. But things ain't more things ain't like they used to be. But your stream is live and you do keep an eye on it, so that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I have um, I have op open chat boxes on my channel that just sit there open. People come there sometimes. For sometimes for days, nobody comes. Um, but they sit there as a, as a um, upcoming live stream. If you go to my channel and, and you go to uploads and you select upcoming live stream, there's some open chat boxes there where people talk sometimes. But they're just static pictures. You know, they're just still. The picture just, you know, there's nothing happening in in the on the. You know what I mean? Yep. But there's still there's still nice places to go and talk. Let's have a beer. Tom, the short answer to your question is no. Um, and this is it. I let I'll just explain. I want to. I want to be. I want to be all inclusive. Um, if people come and they can't stay for disciplinary reasons, I'll get rid of them. But I want to give. You know, I don't want to exclude people without ever giving them the opportunity to come. Right? You understand? I'll give them the opportunity. If something's haywire, I know what to do. Gracie. Make you wonder who Gracie is, right? Somebody should probably check out her account. JC, thank you for coming. Good to see you, JC. Yeah, never seen you before, Gracie. Never. So maybe Dutchman will check out your account. Or somebody.
Good to see you, JC. Okay, Pastor, you say so. I'm not sure where you know her from, but I don't need to ask. I don't need to know that. There you go. Wait, not that one, this one. Dill Hole, duly noted. I'm sub to a lot of people. I'm sub to some Philippine chats where there's like ladies cooking food all day. But you know what? You go there and they'll speak English to you. Absolutely well. Um, I'm sub to a few other chats, you know, that I go to. The Asian ones are pretty, there's a lot of Asian chats. You can go around the Philippines and Indonesia and other places and find some nice um, live streams with like people, like actual people, you know? It's okay, TR, nothing there, but pa pa Pastor spoke up. So I'm, I'm going to take Pastor at face value. <laughs> but I will. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey, Sean. Anybody coming up on the panel? Let's talk. I hope so. Maybe they're being bashful. You know, I'll be truthful with you, Art. I never thought of myself as a hippie. I figured I was too young for that. Being born in 1965. So... You know, by the time I was, you know, 20, it was 1985. There were no hippies in the 80s. You know what I mean? I think one thing that happened as the 70s turned to the 80s is that there were no more hippies. They changed their name. They, they became yuppies. Something happened. It became different somehow. You're a hippie, Doug. Guarantee it. You're a hippie. I'll thank you, are, Doug. Okay, I've had other people tell me that. I suppose it's a way of thinking more than anything, right? I'll thank you, are. There you go. Gerfmeister. I gave you my honest opinion. I did. I have done some things that I guess hippies would have done, but I did. I did them in the eighties. So. How's the music? Getting weird? Have you have you ever seen the Grateful Dead in concert, Mike? No, sir. Have you ever gone to a rock concert? And I don't mean a country band in a honky tonk. I mean like a concert in a stadium. No, sir. No, okay. Just asking. Um, I never much liked the stadium concerts. <clears throat> I prefer, um, you know... Bands are playing bars. Everybody uh, I've seen has been in a beer joint or a honky tonk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you I never went to a stadium to watch the Who. No stadiums. No stadiums. But I've seen I've seen about fifty stars in a beer joint or a honky tonk. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about country music is that you can be the most popular person and you can still play in a small venue. Well, Google Google uh, Billy Bob is in Fort Worth, Texas. I'll get, back to, I'll get back to Texas one day. 
Fort Worth, you say Billy Bob's? Billy Bob's is the largest honky tonk in the world. So they as were. large as a honky tonk can be, how many people can get in there? A, a thousand, fifteen hundred? How many people? Like less than Billy, that. Billy Bob's is thirty two thousand square feet. So that's pretty big. Thirty two thousand square feet is three quarters of an acre. About. That's pretty there's big. 30, there's thirty four bars in Billy Bob's. Within within the establishment there's twenty four different bars. Thirty four bars. Thirty four. Yowza. That's a bunch. How are we doing, Pastor? Just, just, go. go, just Google Billy Bob's and you'll understand. I may I may do that, but I'm not gonna do it now. No problem. How are you tonight, Pastor of Muppets? <laughs> I'm doing good, Doug. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm good. Uh, Mike, Hi. I assume I assume you know Pastor by now. Good to yes, meet you, Mike. Okay. Hello, Tasha. So, um, they're getting off on a tangent here, aren't they? Doug. Yes, sir. You went and seen, you went and seen the bands, you went and seen concerts at the, all the different venues. I have. Um, I've seen the Grateful Dead probably realistically about 85 times. I did that over the course of 12 years, between 83 and 95 when Jerry died. So I was averaging maybe a handful of shows a year, maybe six or eight shows. But I would, I would, I would drive to, like, say, Eugene, Oregon. I would spend three days living in the parking lot in the back of my car, and I would, I would go to the shows, you know. Um, and that's just an example. I did that in many. I've seen them. I've seen the Grateful Dead in, you know, North Carolina. I've seen them in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut. Um, I don't think I've seen them in Massachusetts, but I've seen them in Ohio. You know, I've seen them in, you know, in Wisconsin. I'm, I've seen them in Wisconsin. I understand. So it's different, well, I, though. What I'm trying to say is. When you travel all over the United States and you go see a performer in a club or a nightclub, mm -hmm. it's not it's not a venue like you're talking about. No, no, no. Grateful Dead shows would have like 40, 50,000 people at them. Uh, you right. know, uh, the smallest show I went to, I went up to uh, up to Wonderland in Toronto, Canada. I think it was. I don't know, maybe 87 or 88. I don't remember. And and the venue only had like 9,000 people there. And that's the smallest Grateful Dead show I've ever been to. The good thing about Wonderland was because the venue is actually in the middle of an amusement park. So we went up there. We went in shortly after lunch or sometime. We ate a bunch of acid and went on the fucking rides in the amusement park all day. By the time the show came, we were spent. <laughs> It was kind of funny. But, you know, the other thing that's funny is, you know, go on the roller coaster when you're high on acid. That's funny. Um, <laughs> whose comments up, Stacey? I understand, Doug. Um, believe it or not, as many a times as I've seen The Grateful Dead, I've seen Jerry Joseph and the Jack Mormons more. And in more diverse places. I've seen them in Hawaii and in Alaska. And... You know, not to mention several states in the lower 48. Now they play in bars. My friend, my friend Jerry, he's a friend of mine. Um, I have him in my cell phone. I talk to him once in a while. Um, they they never made it too far, and they play in bars. But I've, I've seen them in you know all over the West Coast. I've seen them up and down the East Coast. We got a dark star, Seth, um, Pastor. What's that? Dark Star. Oh, okay. 
Hey, Taz. Taz, you're always passing through. I play tag with Taz. I always seem to be behind him by several minutes. Kind of funny. Taz came to me the other day and asked me about the clone, because I guess Taz has had a clone. And, and um, I'm not smart enough to know if this is the real Taz or not, but I think it's the real Taz. Um, he asked me if he thinks his clone is the same person that clones me. And honestly, I told him I don't know, because I really don't know. I haven't been following closely Taz's clone. But I'd say this, if they act alike, if they act similar, they might might well be the same person. Maybe. You know what the best word in that word is? What's that? Ignore. Yeah, no, I think it's it's um <laughs> it's good to ignore people who you don't want to talk to. Even if they harp in your ear. Here come here come um Tanya. Hello Tanya, are you on your way to work? Yeah, hold on. Do I... How did, how did I know? Wait, I have to change the that I hear from my earphones. One second. Mike's waving at you. You gotta change your earphone. Take your time. Um Tanya is the hardest working woman in show business. Perhaps. Now somebody say something. Hello. Testing one, two, three. All right, great. That's great. So are you are you uh, are you at the train station? I am, but the train is late. When when they start, you know, the speaker, what is it? That that over speaker, what do you call it? Alexa, down one. The conductor? No, no. When when over at the PA or whatever that thing is, when the lady says, Hey, the train is late, you know, that's not a good thing. Yeah, the, over the PA. Going. That would be a public a public service announcement in the train station is probably it is probably generated by a computer. Unless you still have yeah. a real person doing them. Yeah, I it, it appears to be a computer, but it sounds like a lady who says, oh, the train is late or has been canceled or this, that. Or you the you other. want me to ask my Alexa about your train schedule? That's okay. I can see it from the board right here. It's so how late, how late is your train? Well, I've not got to check because I don't see no train. Uh, let's see. Six oh one. No. Oh my God! Fifteen minutes. Fifty. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you don't need to be at work by a certain time because you clock in and clock out the hours you yeah. work. Okay. So, so all it do, all it means is you have to go home later. It'll take you longer to finish because you started later. Right. That is correct. Okay. And there was a plenty train on the other side that went to the airport. It goes the other way around. I beg your pardon. What kind of a train? Oh, oh I'm, 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 bloody. I'm, I'm teasing you, Tanya. Uh -huh. there, there was a, no, the other side, is, it's like a circle train. So both go to Helsinki eventually, but one takes a little longer than the other. And I didn't realize that it was so much late that I should jump on the If the train express train is late, late, if the express train is late, get on the local train. What the hell? No, no. These are the two local trains. One goes to different stations, but both end up in Helsinki. Yep. So this will be a little faster going this way. Two different trains both stop at different places. Okay. Two local yeah. trains. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no express train. No express train. No. Okay. Oh, this is funny. Well, now we have, you know, a couple so of minutes. The train is coming at 6.01. And you, expected it, you expected it to be there by now. I did. This is usually at 540. 21 minutes late. I wonder why. It was probably canceled. I didn't even listen to the lady talking. And then... Uh, I don't blame you. I don't listen to ladies talking either. 
haha no that's and the, <laughs> and uh, yeah if i had realized i would have gotten to this train that went backwards but still goes to helsinki anytime a train is late and anywhere around helsinki it's normally mary downer's fault aha uh-huh. That's an amazing thing if that's the case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would like to go to a movie tonight, but I'll probably fall asleep. Tell me what movies are in the cinema now. I, I have no idea. Well, I haven't been to a movie in, in almost two decades. Yeah, there's that new movie that I want to see so badly. It's a Julia Roberts and George Clooney movie. It's called Ticket to a Paradise. Mm. George Clooney and who? Uh, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts and George Clooney. I thought you had said Julia Roberts. I got to ask, is she still with us? Oh, yeah. What's up, Wheat? Mary Bernie, thank you for coming, and hello. Um, what does it cost to go to a movie in Helsinki? A lot. It's like Fifteen dollars or fifteen euro. That's what we pay here. We pay fifteen bucks, maybe twelve. If yeah, if, you know, but then, but then you gotta if you want to get the popcorn and soda pop, that costs yeah. as much again as you paid to get in. So exactly same here. Although oh, yeah. here the popcorn is six ninety five for the medium, and then of course the large drink is what two three four five. Oh yeah, so about eleven mm. for the drink and the popcorn, and then fifteen for the ticket. Okay. And on and on top of that expense, after you pay your hooker and then she expects a tip and it's just you run into a lot of money. Yeah, go to the movies, I think if, if you want to go you and, and and one person in a movie, I think you got to expect to pay 50 bucks before you get out of there. At, at least, I think 50 bucks minimum, I think. But that's not why I don't go to movies. I don't go to movies because I think you know, 99.9% of all movies suck and should never have been made. <laughs> that's, that's that's what I think. So. That's interesting. I think about that for a lot of movies now. I go, what kind of garbage is this? I'm not going to watch this. I don't know if I've ever gotten up and walked out of a movie, but there have been some I thought I would. Oh, I some have. Movies, when I was younger and would go to the cinema, some movies I thought were a very, very good cinema experience. For an example, I would say that when I first went and saw the original Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and we were quite high, I think probably ate mushrooms or something. And we sat through the, when, when the first showings let out, we hid in, in the theater so we'll watch it again. Watch it twice in a row. Um, yeah. Now, there's other movies like that. When I was about, I don't know, 13 or 14, I took a date to a movie, and it was an R-rated movie. I'm not sure if they weren't checking or whatever. But we got in, and it was all that jazz. You ever seen that movie, Pastor? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What about you? Uh, Tanya, All That Jazz, a movie with uh, Schneider. What's his name? Isn't that him? No, I don't think I have. Yeah, well, that that was a very good um, cinema experience for me, but not so much because it was a good movie. Uh huh. Can you tell what me the... what was the worst movie you saw in the movies? Oh God, there's been so many movies I sat through and didn't want to watch. Oh okay. I, I can tell mine. The best movies I ever saw, I didn't see in the cinema because oh, I didn't go to cinema so much. Um, I know there's a few good examples, I think. All right, Doug, what is your favorite movie of all time? 
The movie that scared me the most I saw in the cinema when I was 12 was Alien. Mm-hmm. I didn't scared say the living shit out of me in the cinema. I didn't ask what scared you the most. I said, I what is your I'm favorite to work movie? Up to, I don't really... I'm, I got to formulate these ideas in my head, Pastor. I don't know. I, yeah. I've seen movies. Um, now I'll give you an example. I don't like George Clooney. Mm-hmm. I don't like him. I think his movies mostly suck. Um, but he did a movie called Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Which That's I a actually great movie. A very good movie. Great movie. I, great, perhaps. The best I've ever seen? Maybe not. When no. you say the best, I, I, I refer to, I, I, go, I go back to indie movies. Yeah, I mean movies like Blue Velvet, right? I mean, what was bad about that movie? Anything? I don't know. Mm, that movie was li- fucking fantastic, start to finish. It, it draws you in. It absolutely draws you in, and you're mesmerized. <laughs> and Elizabeth Taylor was beautiful. M- M- Marissa Tomei. Are you talking about Blue Velvet? Or are you talking about the same movie? Blue Velvet. I'm, oh, okay. I'm thinking of International Velvet or whatever. I don't know who's International Velvet, but I'm talking about uh, about um, Hopper, Dennis Hopper, driving around, drinking PBRs with his cohorts. Oh, okay. okay. Dennis Hopper, no? It was Dennis Hopper, you. right? Yeah, Blue Velvet. Um, I got you. But again, I didn't see it in a cinema. So, um, for our... our I'm not much on um, Photoshop movies. I'd say movies with special effects. I, I don't yeah. really want that, you know? Um, mm-hmm. The best movie I've ever seen, I don't know. Um, in a cinema, I went and I saw um, The Usual Suspects mm-hmm. and Reservoir Dogs I saw in a cinema. Both of them very good movies. Now, The Usual Suspects, because of the plot twist, was just fucking amazing, I thought. I don't, I don't know who wrote it, but it was The Usual Suspects. And, um, and, the, and the plot twist at the end, I just thought it was great. Right? You ever seen that movie? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and I would say also Well Made because it draws you in and it keeps your attention focused. Yeah. Right? I think that's what makes a movie good. Is it it, it makes you want to watch it once you start, right? Some people think I'm weird, but they ask me what's my favorite movie of all time, and I'll say The Wizard of Oz every time. Mm-hmm. Okay. That may be a very good movie and perhaps one of the best movies ever made. I don't know if it's my personal favorite though. It's my personal favorite. Perfect. Mm-hmm. What about I you, Mike? Just... Sorry, okay. Tanya. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Mike, you ever go to the cinema and watch movies? I used to. I did too. I used to. <laughs> Do any of them stand out in your mind? Did you go and see Alien in like 1977? Alien and uh, Jaws and all Tra- of oh, Jaws, of course. I mean, Jaws. Except that when you watch Jaws now, it somehow seems tacky and dated. It didn't at the time, but it does now. In my, opinion, right? In my opinion. It well, does the shark, now. The shark looks fake as hell now. I'm sorry, Mike? So it does shark? now, but back then it was real. Back then it was great. Yeah, the shark, I, I heard you, Pastor. Okay. Uh, sh- sh- the shark was named Bruce. Right? They had troubles with the shark, the mechanical shark, when they were filming the movie. And they weren't sure that it was going to make it through the whole movie. And in fact, they edited scenes because they couldn't make Bruce do what they wanted it to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they had problems with it when making the movie. But, uh, man, when it came out, everybody was... Jaws had a mesmerizing effect on the box office. Yes, I don't know. I don't know how many what it sold, but hey, Jack, I don't know. I don't know how much it made in the box office, but it did very well. <laughs> it was scary as shit. 
That was a great movie, Mary. Um, movies I saw that I didn't need to see: Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> Why the hell did I have to go to a cinema to watch that? You know what I mean? I thought it was kind of funny, Doug. Yeah, I was laughing at the movie, not so much with it. I don't know. <laughs> but my opinion, once again, that's my opinion. I wasn't a huge fan of The Breakfast Club either, a movie that everybody thought was like. Now, what about. Um... Sixteen Candles was better than Breakfast Club. Well, what about like Raising Arizona, right? That was a good movie. I would say I'd put it in a top tier of entertaining movies. I mean, not not the best, I think, but I mean, it was it was certainly in the top in the top tier. Yeah, back before Nicolas Cage got stupid. I never saw it, but I heard it was good. It's a funny movie. <laughs> Nicolas Cage and John Goodman. Yeah. Um, it is very funny. I think I saw that in the cinema. There's another one I saw years ago with um, what was it called? It had Danny DeVito in it, and I think Bette Midler might have played his wife, and maybe not Tom Hanks, but that other guy. So, uh, so and Mama out the train. Hmm. Hello, Cleo. Sorry, sorry, oh, Mama, Mama the train. Was a funny movie. That movie was funny. I'm thinking of a different one where they like they kidnap his wife. What the hell was that movie? I don't remember. Mm. See, I couldn't have made that much of an impression. Someone in the chat will find it though. I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm gonna walk upstairs. I have now taken control of this live stream. <laughs> Surprisingly. Next year is the last tour of Dead and Company. That's going to be the end of them. I'm tired. Tell the kid that I'm going to go, that I'm going to sleep the way to Helsinki. It's a half an hour <laughs> ride. So. All right, Tanya. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Hello, Cleo. Walk me out in the morning to today. I walk me out in the morning to Mary Downer wants someone to frisk her. Hmm. I can't walk you out. <laughs> Morning, do we've lost Tanya? She took the opportunity of me leaving, didn't she? No, Doug. She said that to tell you that she's going to sleep on the way to Helsinki. So she perfect. Had to sign, she's going to sign off and say goodbye. I don't blame her. If I was going to Helsinki, I'd fall asleep too on the way. <laughs> I wonder what a direct flight to Helsinki takes from here. Probably eight hours. Probably. Uh, I'm not sure. I had planned a trip to Greece, and from Phoenix to Gre Athens was 11 hours. To Greece? Non-stop to Greece from Arizona? Yeah. Phoenix to Athens was 11 hours. Phoenix to Athens, that sounds right. Yeah. But New, New York to Helsinki is probably seven or eight. 
maybe seven. Yeah. Mary, there's a lot of things I'm not supposed to say out loud. <laughs> hey, John DeVries, how you doing? Thank you for coming. Hey, John. This is, um, you know, Jeff Beck does a version of Morning Dew, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to see Jeff Beck on November the 1st with Johnny Depp. I heard you say that, and that's why I yeah. brought it up. That's going to be cool. You know what? Yeah. Johnny Depp had a band, because I seen a video of his band, right? The Hollywood Vampires. Okay. Yeah. And I suppose, because I didn't believe they were legit. Well, I, I, they, thought, I, thought, I thought they were like the monkeys, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they weren't really, I mean, expected to do anything. And they didn't. And they didn't, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was just kind of a gimmick show, you know, a gimmick kind of a whatever. But Johnny's actually, Johnny Depp's actually a pretty good guitar player. Johnny Depp is a pretty good guitar player. I wouldn't know if you say so. I took guitar lessons when I was probably about thirteen or fourteen. <laughs> I did. I, 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 I remember. Yeah, you remember? Okay. I remember the guy, you the guy me asked me, "said Are you practicing an hour a day?" I said, "No." He said, "Well, then don't come anymore." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "You're wasting the money. Just don't come. It's a waste of money." <laughs> and you know what? I li I li I guess he half expects that some people will say no. I'm going to do this, and it'll help. But it to me, I was like, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously he's trying to motivate you, right? Well, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like anything else, you know. You just you got to spend time with them. Okay. We'll go have a cigarette. So we'll leave this wonderful music behind. <laughs> I think I got the China Cat Sunflower coming up. That's what it sounds like. Oh shit, it's still raining out here. I'm going to have to put you on my lap, sorry. I usually put you on the table, but... <laughs> I don't sure. mind being on your lap, Doug. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Cleo, how are you doing tonight? Hello, Relentless. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Well, I see Mike ceiling. He may be busy. So he suggested that I leave my daytime live stream up for like all day, like from six in the morning till midnight. Um, so, so people have some place to go talk. What I really like today, Pastor, and I was talking to Mike about it earlier, is how people on the in in the chat were using what they saw on the screen to create conversation and and you know to to muck about and chat i was one of those doug i was the one saying that those are cops in that white van across the street watching you were one of the ones saying it absolutely pastor <laughs> yeah. what, what i'm getting at is actually i think that's great i think i mean i'm so you know to, to me it seems like that's 
that provides a place for people to be comfortable and you well, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I apologize. Cheeseburger and fries. Cheeseburger and fries. Quite all right. Did he come I to apologize. your door with it with a DoorDash? Or have you been cooking? <laughs> Just got them done. <laughs> so I apologize. Cleo, thank you for coming. Good night, Cleo. Uh, Mike, you know John DeVries? Do what, sir? Do you know John DeVries, this guy I put on the screen, with the Italian tablecloth, Italian restaurant tablecloth? Yes, John DeVries. He's a good guy from uh, yep. Amsterdam, Tap, a long time ago. Okay, he, he says hello to you. I've been I'm talking not- with John. I've been talking with John lately, just as it's in the last couple month or two. I, I met him, and he seems like a nice guy. I see him in a few of the chats I go to. I've known him for about five years. He's a good guy. No, I'm sure. Yeah, no, like I said, I've seen him in a few of the chats I go to. He's a good guy. Very polite man. Mm-hmm. I've been going to the Amsterdam chat lately. You know, it's different now. Um, but there's still some of the same people there. Some. Not not so much, but, but a few. Well, I'm glad you have because you'll meet a lot of good people there. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of people there already know you. But, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Amsterdam chat is uh, it's a good chat room. I know New River's up there and and, uh, and uh, Carla and uh, Tina, they're all there. Yes, they're all there and I know all of them and they're all good people. Yep. Carla has been around a long, long time. Um, John, John, I'm not meaning to make fun of your avatar. I just had to try and be descriptive with it. You know what I mean? That's all. Tina is from Texas, and she is a sweetheart. Yeah, no, Tina's a sweetheart. She, I, 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 I connected with her. She responded to one of my videos, and I was like, "Wow, I knew someone would like this." Um, on, the, on my channel, Pastor, I was in Florida on a trip about a year ago. Yeah. Coming November was a year ago, so next month. And um, my wife's brother is a bass player. And so we went to one of his shows at a bar and we took a clip of them playing Little Wing. Oh, cool. And I thought it was excellent. I was really excited. And yeah. T- T- Tina thought so, too. She told me so in the comments. And other people commented, but not so enthusiastically. And I was yeah. like, okay, that, that's good. <laughs> now, Tina, of course, I know from the um, Everett chat, Mike, which doesn't have chat anymore. Everett out of Tweaker Cam. Yes, I know, Doug. I was used to be there a long time ago. Mm-hmm. They don't have no chat anymore, though. Right. That was a shame. I used to hang out there and talk with all those people a lot. Some of them are still around. Of course, you see Arizona and some of the other people from there. Yes, sir. Some are still around. Arizona is one of them. And Carla. Yeah, Carla Carla Murray was there as well. Absolutely, yeah. Nothing good comes from Arizona. (laughs) Well, you're there, right? (laughs) Exactly. you're You're from Missouri. Yeah, originally. Mm hmm so is Gurf. Gurf is from Missouri, originally now in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have friends who moved from New York to Colorado, never came back. One of them is my brother who lives in Denver. I, you know, I moved to Jackson. I was there for 19 years. I came back um, oh, wow. because I, I was running a business. And you know what? There was one very bad year in about 2009. And 
I, I've, I've been a union iron worker in New York City since 1986. And so I just decided to come back and go back to work at the union. Went down the hall, had a job in a day. You know, and of course, it's good union work. I, I still have, I, ne I never withdrew from the union. I, ne I never turned my book in when I left. I just paid my dues while I was gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have to be there if you pay your if you pay your dues. That, that's all. That's really all they want. <laughs> they just want your money. No, they took care of me. <laughs> I know. It, I'm just it was well worth it. I went back. I went right to work, making you know, um, Union Iron Works in New York City. You know, they're not they're not broke. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I was in the operating engineers union, so yeah, I know how the unions operate. Um, pr private sector union, Pastor, not a public sector union. Iron workers. Yeah. I'm just saying the unions basically operate the same. I think I have issues with public sector unions, Pastor. Okay. But union unions where the employees are actually paid with money that's that that's that, that with taxpayer money. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's like, I mean, I tend to have issues with anything that's paid with taxpayer money, but maybe that's just me. Okay. You know what I mean? No, I understand. And I'm certainly not trying to get into a big debate about it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do that either. I will have another glass of wine, though. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. Can you hear me while you're gone? <laughs> Because, I mean, I would make one more comment about it, and hopefully that'll be it, is that when you pay taxes, you, you do so with the expectation that your money will be spent wisely, which, of course, is not the reality. Mr. Doug. Wait, let me say hello to For Evil D. Hello, and thank you for coming. Uh, yes, Mike? I gotta go. I got a cheeseburger okay. and fries and a cold beer. I got. You I gotta go. Thank you for coming up. Go. Bye, right. you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. So it's just me and you now, Pastor. <laughs> Why don't we get one of the ladies up here? Relentless. Come on up. You don't have to show your face. Be like Pastor and stay behind your avatar. Let me put a link in the chat. Marry you too. Invitation stands. Have I started to have I started to write the chat, Mary? Um, we, here we got Terry from Oregon. Uh, Terry, I know I saw your comment. I did. And I'm hoping <laughs> we're not going to continue the conversation much. But I think hey, you I and I... Know. I don't okay. remember what I was talking about. <laughs> you don't even know, huh? I was just trying to make a distinction between public sector and private sector. Oh, know. that's right about you. I was going to bring that up. But I mean, I'm just telling you how the way they are over here. Now on the East Coast, it might be different. Mm -hmm. I think Oregon's a right to work state, isn't it? So you get prevailing wage no matter what. Yeah, I don't know about Oregon's laws and all that. I know it's a, uh, it's been a very bad state for the last three or four years now. And uh, the uh, west side of Washington, which is over the mountains from me, two and a half hours from here which would be Seattle, uh, they've gone really bad, too, in the last two or three years as well. And it's really kind of right there. 
check this out, Dougie. They had a, they had a, over two hundred cops there patrolling just Seattle. Now they have like sixty nine or seventy. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember the. That when, when, when you're a public sector union, which means be, being paid with taxpayer money, you become a political tool. I know. I believe that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you become or, a political tool. Or you just become well, we a tool. We all see what's going on. Or you're just a tool. Yeah. Either way. Or you just become a tool. Yeah. We all see what's going on. Hey, Terry. Um, hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I work for a place uh, called Treetop. You might have heard of them. And uh, they had a union there, man. And, uh, what does Treetops do? What do you do? Uh, well, they—I don't do—I don't work at Treetop, but uh, they just uh, process uh, apples, mainly rotten ones or close to rotten, and peel all the bad shit out, then cut it all up and flavor it, and put it in your uh, Quaker oatmeal cereal. Sure, why not? You got to do something with rotten apples, right? Yeah, they, they run juice too, the apple juice, I think. Too. Like I was at West. I was at West. That was one of the worst jobs I have ever had, and one of the most dangerous. Most dangerous. Well, the you know when the apples go in this machine, it's a, uh, it's got like eight stations where it cores it, mm -hmm. peels it, and cuts it, man. It'll and do the same. It'll do the same machine. to your hand if your hand passes. Yeah, you know, if your hand is in there naked, man. I mean, uh, yeah, you're gonna get cut. Big time. Then they have virtual machines as well, oh. you know, which is cross cutting. It mm -hmm. turns out little teeny squares for your cereal and shit. Sure, They're yeah. All like hardcore razors, man. And, well, you uh, want to be careful in any kind of production industry like that. Oh hell yes. Well, I used to out west when when it was harvest season for the potatoes, and then you would see on the side of the road like piles of potatoes that didn't pass the initial visual inspection. And we discard it in a pile. The pile would be as big as a as a small car, right? Oh yeah, piles yeah, of potatoes. Them, and they're sitting they there. They the They're sitting there in the yeah. They're calls, of course they are. And they're yeah, sitting they're there. In the, they're sitting there in the sun, fermenting. Yeah, you could also grow the seeds off them. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. And then eventually they come by and scoop them up and take them away. I guess, but but yeah, they're well, doing Either they're going to uh, replant some of them or use them as fertilizer, bury them in landfill. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Well, they, 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 repur they repurpose them, but they would be right. stacked there. They would be stacked there for days on end. Fermented, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pota Fermented yeah. potatoes, man. You're making vodka, is what you're doing. Hey, man, I so. grab me another beer. Be right back. Making vodka with them. Absolutely. If you sit there and let them ferment, though. Yeah. We had a, a county ordinance that mandated we eradicate thistle from our yard. Or they would come and do it and give you the bill. <laughs> That's Once funny. the thistle sets in, you, you, you know, Terry, you know about this, the thistle? It would, it would take over the whole, you'd have like 40 acres of thistle by the end of the year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Ray. All right. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I'm oh, sorry. We got the other one. I'll be right back. The fuck you going, Dougie? <laughs> oh, he's going to take a beer piss. <laughs> So how you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm doing fucking great. Man. I bought I me thought... Corona. Got some killer 89% free bud. So, yeah. Nice. It really is, man. It's that bait pen. It's hash oil. I call it hash oil, man. Yeah, I'm all... same. Yeah, Concentrated really THC, is. same difference, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, I just call it hash oil. So people know what it is. At least the old timers and people that ever smoked ash oil, rubbed oh, yeah. it on the joints or smoked it off the pen. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but that should have last me fuck. 
Only smoke, only take a hit once a week. So we're talking three or four months just for one cartridge. Which one? Try fifty bucks. Do you ever try making your own hash and hash oil at home with buds and Everclear? No, I sure haven't, man. We've got so many stores here filled with things like that. <laughs> you don't have to. No, I'm talking I'm talking about 30, 40 years ago, dude. Oh no, not even, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I have smoked uh you know uh, some serious uh what do you call it? Um alcohol out of the bombs and shit, man. Oh yeah. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> No, we used to boil. We used to boil buds in Everclear, and that's, that extract that extracts the resin out of it. And then you boil it down and boil it off, and then you got this thick goo on the bottom of the pan. Cool. And that's that was, that, was, that, was, <laughs> that was that was that was homemade hash back in the day. Yeah. It was fucking a man. I, I never knew how to make it. I never tried. Hey man, when I was in Germany, man, you could buy a hundred grams, man, for like a hundred and fifty bucks of oh, red yeah. Lebanese, man, or blonde Lebanese, man. And if you want to pay an extra fifty bucks, it came with opium. <laughs> nice opium aided fucking hash, man. Yep. Mm. You take two or three fucking hits, man, and you're fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> you take more than that, and you're really there. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember the old Lebanese blonde? Yes. yes. The hash. Oh, oh, oh God, man. yes. I miss it. Oh. I miss it. Over in Europe, man. Over in Germany and shit. Like when I was in Frankfurt, it was it like Afghani black. Well, yeah. it was like a board. You could bang it on the fucking ground, cement or whatever, or a table, and it was yeah. soft. It wasn't. It wouldn't even break. You had to heat it up with a fucking lighter. To smoke. That, shit, that shit was like a diamond. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it was. Fuck yeah. Hell yes, man. It really was. Dude. The Lebanese all- and blonde, and then that red shit that came from uh, Morocco. Oh my god. But well, I thought it was good too. But nowadays, the pot they got nowadays, man, like in the vaping, holy shit. It's concentrated, man. It's way beyond that. Man. It's beyond that. You take one or two hits is all you need. And that'll last you three or four hours nowadays. Man. Yeah, no shit. Especially, especially a cartridge like this on this vape pen. Oh, yeah. They're, they cost 40 or 50 bucks. And you only have to be 21 nowadays. They have stores, pot stores everywhere. Yeah. All you have to do is be 21. That's it. You don't need a car. You don't need a medical bullshit or some yeah, special permit. All the legalized states, yeah, it's just like alcohol now. It's 21. Mm-hmm. Washington is one of those states. We're even ahead of Colorado. And we, we, uh, what, the last election we legalized here in Arizona. That's awesome, man. I remember uh, Nevada and Arizona would hang your ass for fucking pot back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially Nevada, man. They found one fucking seed. Now, this was back in the uh, what, 80s and early 90s. They found one fucking seed in your car or on you that was seven years in prison. You remember, the, you you. remember the, the Doonesbury comic about, about, you remember, you know who Doonesbury, right? Well, yeah. I, remember, I remember in the in the daily paper back in the late 70s or early 80s, they ran the whole thing about Mark, Mark, Mark with the football helmet got caught with a seed in his car. You remember that? Uh, it sounds very familiar, man. I know a kid that got caught. He was like 18, 19, man. With one seed, he got seven fucking years. It hit the fucking papers in Reno, Nevada, man. Years back. And I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, whoa. What's up, Wheat? Seven years I, for a single seed, huh? Yep. Because the way the, the casinos ran and still do run the back. All right. That's behind the scenes. And they want you spending money at their casinos, not on drugs. Exactly. And that's the way they look at it, and they still do. They've had a friend. 
Like they're not 100% like, uh, you know, like Colorado or Washington or even Oregon. I had a friend of mine. I had a friend of mine back in Missouri. He sold a pound of weed to an undercover cop in a oh, single, shit. in a single one pound bag, and they gave him thirty years in prison for that. I believe it. thirty years. Wow, thirty years. Is he out yet? Well, he got it reduced to like eighteen, and then he served like twelve. But 12 well, years for a pound of weed. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Pot is, I mean, if a buck of Egyptians can smoke it, you know, and other civilizations like that throughout history, what the fuck? Why can't we smoke it? <laughs> exactly. Well, we do. So fuck them. All right. We both these <laughs> fucking assholes are out that are against it and get rid of them. Are you up in Oregon? I thought you were in Texas. I'm in. Uh, Even Terry, wait a minute, hold on. You're confusing Terry M with Terry B, Pastor. Oh uh, yeah, okay, that's it. There's Terry B is in Texas. Yeah, Terry okay, M is in you. Oregon. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. And, and, lives next, and lives next door to Bigfoot. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. The first conversation I ever had with Terry M. The first conversation I ever had with Terry M was about Bigfoot being up outside his house up in the mountains. Fuck yeah, man. We're going out for drinks, bro. <laughs> that was a while ago, Terry. I've known you a while now, haven't I? Yes, you have, man. That's funny. But, you know, look, Bigfoot is real. He's in every fucking <laughs> state. And don't think that he ain't. Big, Bigfoot's in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Let's be quiet. Uh, fuck you, Dougie. <laughs> I bet you there's not a Bigfoot in Arizona because that hairy motherfucker wouldn't live out here. <laughs> um, in Arizona, I think it was, it was Arizona that they found uh, big, huge fucking beans with red hair, man, in caves. Yeah. Now, they, they might associate that to Bigfoot, man, a desert type of Bigfoot or something back in the day. But, yeah, you guys have got <laughs> You guys ain't got no big ones, but you got that uh, one Indian thing going on. Uh, that shift changer motherfucker. Uh, uh, what's that shit called? They can shift change and shit. You don't remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Sh or, uh, skinwalkers. Skin skinwalkers. That's right, man. You guys got skinwalkers in your state. <laughs> Them motherfuckers are real too, bro. Better believe it. It's because you can't see them, don't mean anything. Oh. Just like the they chupacabra. Have, uh, <laughs> yeah, a, they say that's a half a like a half a dog, half a coyote or some shit, or half wolf. I I don't know what it is. Yeah, one lady caught one there, man, in Arizona. She's got it on display. It was on Discovery Channel. Yeah. She got the motherfucker running down the road, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, well she took care of it too. <laughs> So they really don't know what. And they got the koi wolf where the fuck you're at, Dougie. Thank you for the koi wolf coming out of New York State. Thank you so much. Maybe so. Listen, I'm not saying Bigfoot doesn't exist. I'm just saying that without proof, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that they do. Hey I mean, man, they got enough proof. I tell you what, man, you look start looking that shit up. There's more than enough proof. I'm not talking about my first wife, okay? <laughs> That's fucked up, Dougie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my 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 second wife was Hitler, man. <laughs> All right, here's here's the way I see it. If Bigfoot exists, how come nobody's ever captured some true okay, exactly. footage of him on their cameras? Okay, and I'm how come how, and how come no cars ever hit one? Because they're not near highways usually. Oh, bullshit. Near. Bullshit. They're in the fucking mountains, but I'll tell you what. Bullshit. They filmed live on camera. They say uh, Bigfoot also has a visibility technology. They and the guy the and, and, across the mountains and the, here. It was live. And the guy and, who who faked that what was supposed to be the most the authentic footage. Bigfoot yeah. footage of all time, he admitted that was fake on his deathbed. 
Yeah, but but we, all knew, we all knew that was fake the whole time, Pastor. Right? I'm saying, but I'm saying he admitted it on his fa on his deathbed that that was fake. Hey, Pastor, all I'm saying is don't go in the fucking mountains without a big fucking gun. All right? Because if you run into the motherfucker, you're going to be like, all right, I guess he was real. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, man, they got, they got voice messages, all kinds of shit. Fucking Bigfoot. People recording them. They got big, the Bigfoot hunters out there, all kinds of shit, man. And they're all in every fucking state. But well, how come now? How come nobody's ever shot one? How come nobody's ever because captured they one? Have on a video? Human appearance. Well, well, most of the time, they have a human appearance. And suffice to say, them, I don't think we've seen any empirical <laughs> evidence of Bigfoot. I don't think we have. Oh man! Right. The so, ones you got to worry about are in Alaska. Those motherfuckers will rip you limb from limb. And they're oh, about sure. 10 to 12 feet tall. I'll tell you the truth. I'm sure they will. I have more, oh, confidence. Will, I have more confidence in the Chupacabra. Hey, man, they, got Bigfoot, <laughs> they got Bigfoot, all kinds of shit, man, on the walls of ancient times, even in Alaska, man, all over, man. That shit's real. <laughs> uh, you don't have to believe I, it, ha I have more confidence in the Chupacabra than I well, do. Well, tell you what, you fuckers go camping, I'd bring a big fucking gun. <laughs> Sorry. Anything that's 10 to 12 feet tall weighs 800 bucks a with a 16 to 18 inch foot with an 8 inch with 8 foot stride yeah you might want to break something big 8 foot strides yep Six to eight. <laughs> wasn't there a construction site in northern California back in the 60s where a guy admitted to actually Faking the footprints. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. people did. Yeah, they did. I believe there was. Yeah. They they yeah, stretched right. they stretched the cable between two trees, and he used that to make the footprints seem like they're that much farther apart. Whatever he did, wow. but he faked them. The reason was his site was being vandalized, and he wanted to start a rumor right. that, that people shouldn't go up there, and so he put these big footprints in and reported it. Whoa. And then his, his hope was that the vandals wouldn't come up there because just like today, you know, the media's goal is to scare you with false information. That's right. Misinformation. Hey, Y'all didn't know this, but a few years back, uh, there was a big forest fire on the what? not the West Coast, but like Idaho, Wyoming, some shit like that, right? And uh, they found a burning Bigfoot. No shit, man. He was on fire. And the Forest Service guys put him out, and here comes the Black Hawk helicopter. It's a government ticket. That's a fact. Uh, of Google course it. they did. Of course they did. That's not the only one they took. <laughs> one of the they fucking killed. Google it, bro. Oh, my, oh my God. Yeah, there's people like you that don't believe that. You sure it wasn't well, the Unabomber? That shit is out there. Is it Terry, are you, sure, are you sure it wasn't the Unabomber? Well, he's Kaczynski's in prison. <laughs> Burning Bigfoot would be a great name for a band. Burning Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds pretty cool, actually. I like that. Now we just need to get a band member. But I'm telling you, Pastor Puppets. No, dude, I'm saying all that shit's very entertaining, but as far as realism, no, it's all bullshit. Uh, no, it's not. Hey, no. <laughs> no, you can't go 200, 200 plus years in history and say it's bullshit. Oh, yes, you can. No. The oh, yes, you can. That motherfucker. Oh, yes, you can. And that was before <laughs> our time. We're still with the other one. That was fucking sweet. They've been playing this song for 25 minutes. Anyway, don't worry about me. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't go out camping without a big gun. <laughs> Which I have with you. Uh, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster... No, I don't know about the Loch Ness. I mean, uh, all no, that shit. It's all the same, man. It's all the no, same. The Loch Ness was really fake a lot. But that brings in tourism to their town. It's uh, all of them. 
I've got a I've got a Jersey Devil near me. I heard of that. What is that, Doug? Is a Jersey Devil? That is a Bigfoot. Isn't I, I suppose it's a close relative of Bigfoots. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They, they got the one down. Yeah, probably a very close relative of Bigfoots. Hey man, they got the one down in uh, what's it, Florida called Skunk Cave. I mean, the, the the Native American Indians called them Sasquatch, and they believed that it was a human that walked on his hind, a hairy human. It's nothing but a bear standing on his hind legs. That's all they no saw, it. and they and they made a legend out of it. No, it ain't. they saw a bear standing on his hind legs, and they made a That's legend not out true, of it. Bro. No, no, it ain't. That's exactly true. He is actually a uh, for real, and I tell you what, he's in every fucking state. They got a name for it too. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you say so. John, thank you. Do your, do your <laughs> research, man. Uh, you do, do, your, do your research. Research. Do you believe every fucking thing you read on the internet? I mean, seriously? No, I do not. <laughs> okay. I advise you to, to believe less than half by some by some large percentage. Less yeah, than very half. Very, very true. You think you think um, politics gets ugly today? You just see the politics of like the eighteen twenties. Yeah, they um, shoot a motherfucker back then. Back, back back there before the federal <laughs> government had usurped the power to, to to shut people up. People would say whatever they wanted. You should read some of the articles about like you know Aaron Burr and Van Buren. Some of the shit people wrote about them. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but back then you could say whatever you want. There was no liable. But everybody knew that. So it's a liable nowadays. I have a feeling shit's gonna change in about a month. That's true. It's gonna change in about a month because McDonald's announced they're going to produce that, an adult happy meal. <laughs> I prefer Wendy's. No, that's true. McDonald's said they're going to make a, an adult Happy Meal. I don't know what the toy is. I don't know if it's a vibrator or what you get. but I don't believe they'll give you a sex toy in a McDonald's adult Happy Meal. Oh, come on. Uh, work work with me. Yeah, that's but I mean, I think they'll probably, me, they'll probably have like, um, you know, like some Baywatch figures or something, right? <laughs> they watch action figures. <laughs> I'm working with a pastor. Or maybe you get a little, like a little, like a little pipe, or maybe a roach clip or something. Um. Okay. Adult Happy Meal comes with a toy. What is the toy? Has anyone in the chat been by McDonald's lately? <laughs> I don't think. I don't think they've put them out yet. They were talking oh, about it. Not out yet. Yeah. It's like November or something like that. Okay, we. I'll give you this one, we. I was considering putting some of your other comments up before we, but I, I decided not to. But I put that one up for you. Oh yes, relentless. I've heard that sinister laugh of yours. <laughs> so, Dougie, what are you doing this weekend? I'm getting through the weekend. That's what I do. <laughs> One day at a time. Well, no, we do have some plans tomorrow, early in the afternoon. And then on Sundays, of course, we play bridge. Um, yeah, I don't know how to play bridge. It's the best card game ever. In my opinion. I always like spades. Spades is similar, but nowhere near. It's nowhere near the the level of bridge, though. Huh. When, you, when you play bridge well, 
you can account for every card in the deck at all times. Wow. I mean, if you're good. Maybe not at all times, but as the hand progresses, you figure out what's where. And then you play right. accordingly. You know what I mean? Right. Of course, before the first trick, you don't really know. But after the first trick, you got to start thinking about who has what. You know what I mean? Sounds like, yeah, I do. Uh, you know what? Sounds like you need to open up your side poker game uh, while your uh, wife's playing bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Some people play bridge for money, but you don't have to, and we don't because I play with my parents. Liquor in the front, poker in the rear. There it is. (laughs) (laughs) Chaddy's come with us. Grimace, Hamburglar, Birdie, or the new Cactus Buddy? I don't know the new Cactus Buddy. All in an updated style with four eyes. Got that? Thank you, Shandy. You're not only cool cool as hell, Shandy, but you're a sweetheart, too. Yeah, she is very cool. Did you know that Willard Scott was the first Ronald McDonald? Okay. <laughs> I didn't hear you, Pastor, because I'm multitasking. What what was it you said? No, I, said, I didn't did you know that. Willard Scott was the first Ronald McDonald. Willard Scott was also the co-host on Fernwood Tonight with Martin Mull. Yes. Is that right? Was that Is Willard he, somebody else? Is he still alive? No, I, Will- I know that... Um, Will- Willard Scott was that a was that annoying news weatherman on the Today Show a long time ago? I remember him. Okay, I think yeah. Willard Scott was also the co-host of Fernwood Tonight with Martin Mull. I want someone to look that up for me, please. Is he still alive? Right? Oh, Bigfoot, do some Google search for me. Look up Fernwood Tonight. Okay, Is Bigfoot. Willard, thank you. Is Willard Scott make, make still alive? Make yourself useful, okay? I gotta, go, I gotta go back. I'm, I'm still composing here. It's almost time for me to start listening to music, man. Really? <laughs> Thinking about pizza today, like a deep dish meat lovers with some uh, barbecue honey wings and some ranch. Oh, this is good price, man. What do you think, Dougie? You think that sounds good? What are you going to have? Oh, uh, thinking like a meat lover's deep dish butter crust pizza with extra toppings. And, uh, and you order this and they bring it to your house? And some honey barbecue wings with ranch. Yeah, they bring Where it to you say you get honey barbecue wings? Yes. And they'll bring it to your house? Yes. Is it less than 20 bucks? Uh, no. Not no. including tip? No. I would say about for a medium Morning. size with all the toppings and the wings. Yeah. It'd be I'm, about forty three to forty five dollars. Yeah, you see, is that for yourself, Terry, or do you have company? But I I just uh it takes about two to three days to eat it all. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're gonna spread it out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I would never spend more than twenty bucks trying to buy myself dinner. I just wouldn't do it. Yeah, see what I don't eat on I I'd go someplace else, you know what I mean? Yeah, I freeze everything. If I don't eat it by the second night, I freeze it off. All right, Doug. Relentless has your answer. It's Fred Willard. Fred Fred Willard. She's right. Okay, I'm wrong. It's Fred Willard was the co- was the co-host on Fernwood tonight. My bad. Thank you, Relentless. But Pizza Hut's a pretty good place. You think Pizza Hut's a pretty good place? Yeah. Pizza Hut's they, like they a cardboard. Good, they use good stuff here. Uh, Domino's sucks. You know, they use, they're use like cement. Greasy at cement, so. I've been trying to get Stephanie to come with me to Red Lobster. She won't come. 
She won't we don't do have it. Red Lobster here. I wish we did. You're very fortunate that way. We have them over uh, over the mountains for me, but uh, I'm not here. Hey SW, thank you for coming. I appreciate oh, you. Oh good God, don't thank her for coming, Doug. <laughs> lordy Lordy. <laughs> lordy Lordy, I'm gonna go pee again. Yeah, we figured don't, that. don't encourage her. She'll she'll just come back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, we welcome everyone here, man. <laughs> no matter how fucked up they are. <laughs> God bless you all. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I really do need to listen to you. Really sound. I got too long ready to go. Oh, sober. <laughs> hey, Pastor, where the hell are you at, man? We'll see you in there. I'm in Arizona. Oh, that's right. Phoenix. Southern, Southern, Eastern, Western. Phoenix. Oh. There's been some bad things going on there lately. (laughs) (laughs) It's a big town. (laughs) Yeah, it is. My grandparents were in uh, Apache Junction. And their other grandparents were in Maricopa. Right in the desert. Everybody's grandparents are in Apache Junction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Hello. Hello, daughter. Is daughter of truth here? Yes. Whoa. Hey, Mario. Hello, daughter. Okay. I can't Thank see you uh, your writing, DOT, but hello in anyway. Come on up, girl. Let's see that pretty face. Um, Mario, why don't you come up? Say hello. I'd love to hear your voice. You can stay behind your avatar. Yeah, Mario. You don't, ha- you don't have to come out. Come on, sweet thing. Come on, people. Okay, we don't want to harangue. We don't want to harangue the people in the chat. Right? Harangue? Yeah, harangue, harass. I don't know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, right, what the fuck is that mean, man? <laughs> I think it means the same thing. I think. Once ah, again. Never heard that term used like that. Never even heard that before, right? Of course, we are West Coast, so. though. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're different over here, man. It takes a while for things to filter out to this way. Um, all right. We're all about guns and shit here. <laughs> guns and buds, man. There it is. <laughs> you fuck with one of those two, you got a problem. <laughs> what kind of music are you listening to, Dougie? What the hell's that playing, man? Oh, I mean, I'm, a really? bit, I'm a bit quiet. Is that what you're saying? T- I've been told lately that I speak way too loud on my panel. I don't think so. I think you. Uh, I like hearing you more pronounced like that. That no. way, I understand what you're saying. My problem is that I'm going deaf. And yeah, so I, right. I speak. I speak loud because I can't hear myself. You know they make hearing aids for that kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't take Viagra either. <laughs> Well, if you want to fucking hear, you better well, listen, find one. <laughs> I, I do. I do wear these two point That's a that's a concession to my age. I wear the two point And yeah, they got some really good hearing aids these days, man. What? You can't even see them. <laughs> yeah, hearing aids. My mother wears hearing aids. Man, you can hear the things. <laughs> 
Her mother's father was stone deaf before he died. You had well, to look him in the face and yell if you wanted well, him to hear what you were saying. Yeah, you don't want people doing that to you, Doug. Everyone does anyway. My best friend looked <laughs> me in the face and screamed at me. That fucked up. Everyone does anyway. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. Every time a politician takes Viagra, they just grow taller. <laughs> I know, right? That's a good one, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's about, that's about, I like that, that's a good one. Back for a fucking cigarette. So how's the weather down there, Pastor? Good for hot, hot, yeah, it was 96 today. <clears throat> wow. We're, we're hey, hitting, are you on uh, thin ice yeah. with my best mod already? We're hitting Damn, the mid by 70s. Don't do it. 80s. Oh, yeah. I love you know, that weather. We've got about 39 to 38% humidity daily. Yeah. So, I love that weather. Yeah, it's pretty nice right now, but I'll tell you what, winter would be brutal sometimes, man. Not all the time, but sometimes a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, who so do you think it is, then? We had three and a half feet snowfall within an hour. Freaked everyone out, man. National Guard was called it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, so no, you want no, no, no. I'm going to post that, okay? They got over it. it. I think by now someone must have looked you up, right? Yeah, so we don't mind a foot or two, but you know, three and a half, almost four feet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a whole different ball game, man. That's mountain snow, I know. Fuck yeah, it was. That was last year. I filmed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I posted that shit on Facebook and there was a bunch of friends, man. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I said, yeah, that's what we were thinking. <laughs> I mean, that's like a flash fucking flood coming right through your town or your whole, over your whole It's okay, city. we'll watch it anyway. <laughs> oh. uh, we got a, uh, what's that called? Uh, Oktoberfest this weekend and all next, and I think the next one after that. Yeah, it, it is October. Um, we're going to have Oktoberfest here probably this weekend. Um, yeah, we're going to live up in Leavenworth, that one shanty film, you know, that one town you always film, really beautiful town in the mountains. That's where Oktoberfest is at. All German-owned, all German restaurants, and beer pubs, and beer tents, all that shit. So... Drinking with a bunch of Nazis, basically. Rob, <laughs> <laughs> I say the roast. <laughs> so I went to Oregon. I went to um, Ashland. Right, they have the the Shakespeare Festival there. You know what I'm talking about? That sounds familiar, man. But no, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> So I've heard of Shakespeare. Here's the thing, Mario, about, about Viagra, right? I guess what they say right on the box, right? Because I read it. They said if you have an erection lasting more than four hours, you need to call some other women up. <laughs> right? Isn't that, isn't that what they said? That was the, the advice on the box. Yeah. yeah. You ain't got no comment, bro. <laughs> But I do know I need another. Thank you, Tijuana Boob Job. I'll be right back, people. Take your time. Pastor will amuse us. Can you juggle? <laughs> no. You could I'm juggle. Eating. That would that would be entertaining. <laughs> I'm eating a peach, so if you if you can hear me, I apologize. You could tell us you're juggling. That would be just as entertaining. I'm juggling, Doug. <laughs> I'm juggling both my balls and a glass of wine. Okay. Good enough. I'm going to post my link in the chat just for the fun of it. So my fucking Mariners lost against the Astros today. I don't know what to tell you about the Mariners and the Astros. 
I frankly, well, I, now, I, I never followed much baseball closely. Well, now it's a five game, you know, kind of like a World Series type of deal, but it's a playoff. So I think it's five games, and uh, the uh, Astros got to come to Seattle now. Because uh, they were down in Houston today. The Mariners. They didn't lose by much, like two points. Hippie, I like your videos, but you have got to stop that painful commentary. <laughs> well, more than more. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Hippie. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> It's going to go black for, it's gonna go black for a few moments. Don't worry about it. It won't go I'm black. Be just right. second. Wouldn't it be funny if I tripped and fell on my face while I was walking around with my computer in front of me? It'd go viral, bro. <laughs> so I just came up two flights of stairs in the pitch black, not looking at my feet. Right? <laughs> and I keep thinking, what if I fall on my face? What will they see? What will they see? Stars. <laughs> Would you go up there to smoke a bowl? Oh, to get yes, sir. Some? I smoke in the attic because you guys smoke rises. Hey, smoke rises, right? If I smoke on the main floor of the house, the smoke has to rise up through the bedroom where Stephanie's sleeping. Dougie, do you have those uh, hash oil vape pens I'm talking about there? I don't vape. Well, it's not really vaping. It's just a... Uh... I've smoked hash oil. When, back well, when I was young, I used to buy hash oil. In little That's glass vials. You got to try one. Bro. Try one yeah, I don't think I'll put anything electronic in my mouth and suck it on it. I just don't. You know Why what I mean? A shot. You <laughs> might like it, man. Doug, <laughs> you're, tur you're <laughs> turning me on <laughs> right now. <laughs> Listen, it's bad enough that I smoke the weed straight. I'm not going to fill my body with the shit that's in the vape pens. I'm just not going to do it. That, that's oh, the way I do it. I would rather I mean, I keep four. smoking. I still got four grams of butter. I haven't smoked in four months that are in jars. You haven't smoked in four months? No, but yeah. Take a hit right now. You'll be in court. I haven't smoked. You take one hit. Take one hit. You'll be fucking gone. <laughs> I can do that on my face. That's the thing about <laughs> weed, right? The fact of the matter with weed is that the less you smoke, the higher you get. That is true. Think about oh, that. Drugs. The more you well, smoke, the less high you get when you smoke. That's because your tolerance drops. So what I do is I have this like two, this two hitter, three hitter thing here, and I smoke a little bit of weed, and then uh, time will pass. I'll smoke a little bit more. Cool. Um, it's more efficient. Plus, I know that if you take a hit in the morning right. and don't smoke until again till the next morning. Take that hit, you'll be as high as you've been in fucking years. Yeah, it gets time to get out of your system. Even one day, even twenty four hours. Let twenty four hours pass, and then smoke. You just be, you'll be, you'll be like your eyes will be rolling. Oh, hold on, Doug. I'm gonna say hello to DOT. How you when doing, you, girl? Power and power. Cool, girl. That's what I'm you, talking about. How's work going for you, DOT? I hope good. When you smoke every day like I do several times a day, you don't get very high. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to limit yourself. You get much higher if you smoke less weed. That's right. Or unless you get higher THC content weed, then you can maintain that high. You but saw my plants in my yard, Terry? That's what I'll be smoking next month. Eventually, you're going to have to stop a little bit, like a week or two. Maybe in three, and then you take a hit, it's even better. If you wait two weeks and take a hit, you'll be fucking as high as you've been in your in your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. One hit, That's one true. hit will do it. Do it. One 
One hit is all you'll need. When you smoke every day, you need to smoke more, and you still don't get as high. Yeah, I usually take just a couple hits uh, one day out of a week. That's usually a Friday or a Saturday. But since I got tomorrow off, uh, mm -hmm. I took a hit tonight, a couple hits tonight off the... Uh, if you only smoke on the weekends, I think that's a very good policy, too. Well, that's the only time. Usually, uh, Mainly I, because I only have about four or five, six beers. And that's usually one time in the middle of the week if if I you know I'm lucky, or then I'll go through maybe about eleven or twelve in a seven or eight hour period because I'm a social drinker, you know. And that's usually one day a week. I'm a social drinker too, man. The more I drink, the more social I get. Exactly. That's what we're afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. But I, I mean, I know that if I don't smoke at all and then smoke like a day or two later, then it's a much more efficient use of the marijuana. It's like, oh yeah, I never roll a joint, man. I just wait. No, I don't. Roll, I don't roll. I haven't rolled joints in years. I used to, but Me you know, too. what? Uh, joints is just it's, it's like taking money and lighting the right. money on fire. It, exactly, man. It's a waste yeah. of fucking money, big time. To roll it. My my opinion here, okay. Yeah. It is. It's you get some. Money. You get some good bud, and it's quality over quantity every time. A some good people, some people aren't like me, Pastor. I like to smoke every day, more than oh, once. Well, yeah. So yeah. So the quality of the by the time you're smoking every day, it's really less about the quality because you're not getting really high anyway. It's well, more it's like, like you see, it's more like. Like maintenance. If yeah, know. but if you but if you're smoking every day and you're smoking shit weed, you're not going to get high at all. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you don't want to <laughs> smoke. You don't want to smoke shit weed, but you don't have to run out and spend top dollar on the best weed you can find if you're going to smoke it every day. Sure, you do. You, you can get the the middle of the road, or, the, or <laughs> maybe the B, the B plus or A minus weed. No, it's, no, it's perfectly fine for that. In my opinion, now you want only A plus? Is that what you want? Yes, oh, that's, yeah. what, that's what I get is A plus. Yeah, okay. You spend a pretty penny though. I do, and I can afford it. So. Perfect. You're set, man. You are set. I really am, Dougie. You just don't know. <laughs> I never asked. I just assumed. <laughs> I, I, just, I just assumed by the hundred and twenty-five dollar an ounce weed as the two hundred and fifty. Because, I I, because I'm going to smoke it in the same amount of time anyway. Some weed's ten dollars a gram here in jars. Some of it's uh, twenty dollars a gram. I got a uh, two jars left. I bought four originally. They were twenty dollars a gram. A gram and by any hit. other name would still weigh a gram. Oh, uh, one hit, man, and you're fucking done. For at least so tw twenty a gram an ounce would be five hundred and sixty bucks. Yeah, and you can get a, you can get uh, other weeds that are almost as good for I ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the way slow, I see down. It, slow down Doug ain't nobody going to take it away from you <laughs> <laughs> the way I see it I don't need to spend top dollar because I'm not using it in, in the way that, that, that the top dollar we deserve to be used right Right. That's the way I, see it. I could be, I could do just what I do the same. It'll be cheaper. It's the same shit. If you're gonna smoke every day, you don't need the top dollar weed because because your immunity builds up, and you know that doesn't matter anymore. That once again, I'm not a doctor. It's my opinion. It's your tolerance that builds up. And I'm speaking from personal experience. It's not like I I I, I poll people about this. Cleo, you still up beautiful. Let's go. Yeah. Look at all these beautiful girls in the chat. We got, time. Let them, let them be there. We got daughter of truth. Who else we got up in here? Mary was Mary still here? Look at all these beautiful ladies. I hope Mary's still here. Um, Tina want a boob job. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> you heard that? You heard that, Mister West Coaster over there? 
Maybe I heard that Matthew won a boot job. I, that's what I think. I think the farther north you go on the West Coast, the less flaky the people are. <laughs> well, don't go to California to go no that one. <laughs> Anything over from the mountain, you know, over from the coast, you're going to do all oh, right. indeed. Otherwise, you go to the mountains, I'd carry a gun. I haven't been to Tricky's, Dutchie. I'm sorry. I'm busy here. I, I would go to Tricky's, except that I'm sitting on my own panel. So. Cleo can't believe you're still up, girl. You're supposed to be in bed, girl. What's up? <laughs> Cleo can't sleep, man. <laughs> she got candy bandit messing with her. That's what it is. <laughs> Cleo, I was <love> theory. <laughs> Yeah, I know the little babies keep you awake. I know how they are. I want to go to some concerts, man. That's what I want to do. I, I think I think Pastor Muppets had some concerts lined up over here on the West Coast. Oh well, he's on the West Coast. That's right. I think he's been at some concerts just lately too. Pastor, what kind of concerts you got thinking about? He's been to some just the other day. Well, I know, but what kind is he thinking of in the future? Are you with us, Pastor? He might be on the phone. I'll speak for him. I know he's got tickets to TV Nicks who canceled the show and is rescheduled. Huh. He just saw someone. I forgot who the fuck he just saw. And he, he has tickets to go see, and he has tickets to go see Jeff Beck. Is this down in uh, Phoenix? Hmm? I just got yeah. back from make, making a drink. Who are you talking about? You. Are you going to go see Jeff Beck? November 1st, yeah. You going to go see TV Nicks? Uh, her her show was rescheduled for November the fifth. And when, who did you just see? I saw uh, uh, Roger Waters last Monday night and the Doobie Brothers last Tuesday night. There you go. You got it, Terry. You seen Pink Floyd? I saw Roger Waters. Yeah, Monday night. That's pretty much Pink Floyd, right? Well. <laughs> I saw I saw Waters at Radio City in the eighties. Eric Clapton played with him. Mm. I don't remember what year in the eighties, but it was in the eighties. Eric Clapton just oh, god damn. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Waters and Clapton put an album out together. I believe, or maybe it was a Waters album that Clapton played on. Is that sound yeah, it right? Was a collaboration, yeah. Or was it a collaboration? So it's both of them. Well, I saw yeah. the concert in support of that tour. In the, oh, yeah, whatever year that whatever year that was, I don't know. Oh shit, eighty. Oh, geez, eighty nine. Yeah, maybe. 89, maybe eighty nine. I just don't know. Yeah, it's been a while. Now, they didn't play any Clapton songs particularly much. I don't think. I think it was all the the the, sh the songs on the album. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't play any Pink Floyd either. Hmm. They might. I might be wrong about that. They might have played <clears throat> "Comfortably Numb" or something. Maybe I like one. Maybe song. like one Pink Floyd song. "Comfortably Numb" is an awesome song. I, I think I've heard of that song before. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I've lived it, man. <laughs> you don't want to ignore the shadow on the wall either, do you? I I did what now? Don't want to ignore the shadow on the wall either. I know. <laughs> I also Are like the old Judas Priest. Yeah. And the album I talk about is, is uh, Sad Wings of Destiny. Beautiful fucking album. 
Judas Priest. Yep, Sad Wings of Destiny. Yeah, yeah they're going to be in. Uh, they're going to be in Tucson on November the eighth with Queensrÿche. Well, you know the lead singer lives in Arizona at Queensrÿche. Yeah. I seen him in concert of Monsters Rock over in Meinzerville, Germany. Mm. Yeah, Rob Halford from uh, Judas Priest lives here in Arizona too. Yeah, he does. Alice Cooper lives here. He does. Yeah, he does. Should I post the link in, in, in the chat? I've seen uh, what do you call those guys? The Pawn Stars guys go to his house. Yeah. They're looking at cars and shit. But wish you were here. That wish you were here. That whole twenty-seven minute tribute to Sid Barrett. That is just some of the best music I've ever heard in my life. That's a good song. Man. I mean, yeah. that whole twenty-seven minute long version of it. Yeah, that's some of the best shit you'll ever hear in your life. Oh, I believe it. Another good person to go see if you ever get to get a chance is Robin Trower. Oh, yeah. Bridge of Size. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Bridge, Bridge of Size is a great album. Terry? Yeah. Say hello to Cleo. <laughs> Cleo, how you doing? Dude? I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you sleeping? Sweet what the time? hell, man? I'm still here and I want to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep and then I woke up and I'm going to go to sleep again soon. <laughs> Are you hey, here earlier? Early. She, she's going to bed already. Said good night. She woke up again. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I, went, right? I went to the loo in the middle of the night. I went to the loo and this is why. And you were still up. And I go, I, I, do, that, I do that several times a night, Cleo. Hello, Tasha. <laughs> I go shit, doggy's up. <laughs> I go, He's maybe it's in the morning. morning. I thought it was in the morning already. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> shit. We're no. Candy, girl. Not quite no, hippie, hippie, I didn't check out your playlist, and I probably won't. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I think he's brutally honest. Tasha, how are you tonight? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> pastor, that. If you if you speak up, Tasha, you can speak over top of them. No, okay. <coughs> hey, where's your little uh, where's the little candy bed at, Cleo? Well, Candy Bender is ready for Halloween. Candy Bender had some um, Candy Bender candy. <laughs> it was on the floor, and you know I had to chase after my dog. You know, like always. I mean, you know what I mean. Like it's just sometimes I don't know. We put it stuff in the garbage, and she's just hunting the dog, for food. The dog goes and brings it out of the garbage, right? <laughs> around oh, yeah, it, yeah. around it. Not really in the garbage, but around oh, it. Around the garbage, okay. Around sniffing. Yeah, she's got a teeny little dog. <laughs> you know, especially when something sweet. So she's like, you know, it's hard to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking to Whip in the chat. Um, yeah, Cleo, um, our dog is, we're very fortunate, will not take anything out of the garbage. Yeah, no, she doesn't take anything out of the garbage, but, you know, she, she knows she's she will be in trouble, but she goes around it. Around it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cleo, I meant to tell you in front of your live, this live audience. You look really good in that cat bed. Oh, oh Angie, thank you, thank you for stopping oh, by. Thank you so much. Oh, Doggy Dog, it's not on Instagram, so he didn't see it. But I posted <coughs> my, I posted my uh, cat, cat outfit. You know, like just the mask oh. to see. Oh, yeah. I want to see yeah, that. You look really good. That. Yeah. Um, goodbye, I, Natasha. Thank you for coming. I got actually uh, five over five thousand likes. I'm, I'm not surprised. Yeah, which was like, whoa, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Nobody's kidding you, Cleo. They like oh. you in the cat outfit, I'm sure. Oh, my God. 
but it was just like normal thing was nothing special you know it's just like you know turtleneck leggings you know and a mask you know <laughs> like shit you know yeah but it looks really good on you girl Terry, okay. Terry, I don't know if I asked you, but last week on the panel, I asked a question: Julie Newmar or Eartha Kitt? Julie Newmar or Eartha Kitt? Which one played a better Catwoman in the original Batman series on TV? I, you know, I don't even I can't put the names to the picture. Okay, got it. No, I then, don't remember. Then you, then you can't answer the question. It's okay. No yeah, words. I can't remember the names to the faces. Okay. I know uh, that one chick, uh, what's her name, that played the latest one. What was her name? I have no idea. I've never watched a Batman in, in movie in this or ever. Like, not in cinema, not on TV. Well, she's a famous star that played uh, Catwoman. Um, was um, was Uma Thurman a Catwoman one year? No, no, it wasn't her. Huh? She's prettier than Uma Thurman. Okay, thank you, Tijuana Boob Job. And thank you for subscribing. I'm going to come and look at your channel. I'm just not going to do it now. BB votes Earth a Kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Said, Julie Jordy Piper. says Julie Newman. DOT nailed it. It's Michelle Pfeiffer. That is my favorite catwalk. Michelle Pfeiffer. Yep. Yeah, she was yeah. good. Yeah, DOT nailed yeah. it. Yeah, she she nailed I, I it. I like I like Julie Newmar over Eartha Kitt, but let me say this: Eartha Kitt, who was the first Catwoman, she did fucking amazing. Yeah, I remember the first Catwoman. Yeah, but Julie yeah. Newmar, she took the role and expanded on it in a way that I thought, you know, if I was to look back on it, I'd say, you know, she, she played Catwoman better than I think that Eartha Kitt did. You know, remember they're only acting, but you know. Yeah, not good acting. That's what it was. Right? Yeah, I also like Wonder Woman too. Man. You know what? I never got enthralled by Wonder Woman. Monsters ball. I didn't buy the bullshit with the invisible plane and whatnot and the last <laughs> show of truth. To me, that all seemed like tacky comic book shit. I'm pretty sure most men weren't looking at their. Uh, I mean, at the plane, bro. <laughs> invisible plane, right? Yeah. Now, Batman had some cool shit and did some amazing things. He could scale the wall on the rope. Who the fuck Linda can do Carter that? Played, uh, <laughs> Linda Carter played uh, Wonder Woman. That was Linda Carter. Halle Berry was a nice cat woman also. Yes, she was. You're right. I remember that one. Yep. You're correct. But I'd still go with Michelle Pfeiffer. Did you yes, ever see actually, the movie? Actually, I like Michelle Pfeiffer too. I think the best, but they all good. It's just that, yeah. you know, I don't know. She did, I don't know. She had something special about that. You know what I mean? So I would go with Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer. Yeah. Cool. Cleo's on my side. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I didn't look like nothing like her, but you know <laughs> what I wore on Instagram. But uh, I oh, mean, I'm I, thinking you're looking better than her on Instagram. Oh, yeah, on Instagram, so I cannot. You you not your wife is only on Instagram. You're not on Instagram, so. But I was surprising a <laughs> lot of views. Like, my my wife is on Instagram, yes, Cleo, but I'm not. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. but. It was surprising, you know. So you should get Instagram, doggy dog. <laughs> should I? What am I going to do with that? I can barely use the platforms I have. I'm going to get more <laughs> platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, rapid dog. Cleo, the truth is I'm very low tech. I'm not all that adept at navigating and do and everything I need. I, I have to ask Stephanie for help. Yeah, but she can help you. You know, only um, if she doesn't mind to. <laughs> are you gonna, still going to go zip lining, girl? Oh my go God! Go? You had to remind me, didn't you? That's right, I was girl. hoping. I was hoping my subscribers forgot. <laughs> nope. Nope. 
because they they were asking me i go no okay i will do it and then oh my god i was hoping someone said Claude, hey, anybody in my it. chat want to look up this guy Oh my god, yes no, I had to attach the camera somewhere and just go. I, I think this weekend because they will never let it down. <laughs> it's good. I go, clear. Sure. Oh, you promised and you didn't do it. I was thinking, do, do Mexican food after, you know what I mean? But cool. last weekend, uh, it was amazing. I had amazing live stream. I just had to take it down to edit the music because it was copyright music. Some of the places I was not able to when keep it. When they tell me I got copyright issues, I throw the live stream out. I don't keep it. Yeah, I, I couldn't. It was amazing. It was an all light show. I went there. There was halloween pumpkins those light show i mean amazing amazing we had yeah, so much beautiful. fun beautiful yeah. beautiful i mean yeah. uh, i will probably get a lot of views for this uh live stream is just have to thank you daughter i have to upload it back it was just like i wanted people to see it. it's not even question of the views i just wanted to people see it it was beautiful we had so much fun you know it really was it was Beautiful. They're really I, think well. yeah. I think this week they have. I think this week they have Comic Con in Manhattan, just yeah. down the road. Yeah. Is it Comic Con? I believe. And so I was working downtown a few years ago before my back surgery, and I would see these characters. Um, and I say characters, I mean that genuinely, coming coming to the Comic Con thing, right? And it was just it was like a parade of comic book characters in costume. But they weren't coming together. They were all like had parked and were coming. You know what I mean? The way a crowd goes to a any like like, like a Madison Square Garden event. You know what I mean? It was just kind of. I, I was amazed how many people dress up like comic book characters. That's what startled me. Because I never it never occurred to me that I should do that. You know what I mean? Hey Cleo, Cleo. Yeah. What's up, Dutchman? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got I, I got you a fresh supply of gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I know it's Patrick New York's fault, like always. <laughs> um, well, can you give a pastor of Muppets? Hey, Dutchman? Dutchman. Yeah, and, and I had uh, and I had sent a hole to wrap them for you. <laughs> He's not paying attention to me, Doug. So don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> so, Cleo, when are you going to an exotic city and start live stream? Where? Where you want me to live stream, Terry? Oh, I'm thinking of Tahiti would be sweet. Bora Bora. <laughs> Bora, Bora. I mean, yeah, I. You know what? Someone has to film me because you know me walking. Like you know what I mean. I volunteer. I need a camera. Oh. <laughs> I, I volunteer. Yeah. You know, honestly, I think, and that's what I suggested to a friend of mine who live streams. I said, you need like a, a, a support crew, like a cameraman. Hmm. She does. He, he tries to do it all himself. He, he could use, in fact, I think somebody actually filming him so he'd be free to do what he wants. I mean, I volunteer, man. Yeah, good. I'm free. I mean, Good. You know what? Uh, uh, Dutchman was there today, but you know, I'm thinking to do a like a co collab, you know, um, like a uh, live stream with few YouTubers, you know, on YouTube. So that should be fun, you know. That'd be cool. Yeah, Dutchman, Dutchman was there today on one of the live streams, so we just talked about it. But it sounds so cool, you know, to do that. So Dutchman brought you gummy bears. Yeah, Dutchman brought me gummy bears from Patrick, New York. So he <laughs> oh, he's delivering them for somebody. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that <laughs> because it's a it's an inside it's an inside joke. Uh, you know, a doggy dog. But there's no doubt. There's no doubt. It's an inside joke. <laughs> but it's a going on thing. You know, Hello, Gail. <laughs> you know. But you know what? The the gummy bears uh they uh they excite the uh romantic uh uh what do you call it in the in, in, in the brain. Libido maybe? I don't know. 
Yeah, and the first thing you only told me about the green ones, ones, right? <laughs> only the green ones, right? <laughs> no, Patrick <laughs> said it's a it's a grape color. I think he said grape color, right? <laughs> I don't know. No second they made by Viagra, you know, gummy bears. Uh, what I wanted to say is, doggy dog, uh, you know what's Cavalia, right? It's uh, they have beautiful shows, right? So the show that I did on uh, Friday, I mean the live stream was from uh, Illuminu, was uh, from Cavalia. So you can imagine how beautiful it was, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I think I missed it. Yeah, no, oh, no problem. It. it will be back. We'll be back on YouTube, but I have to edit the, the music, unfortunately, you know. It is what it is when you go somewhere, no choice, right? So, Yeah, it is true. Welcome back, I think, sometimes, I think some people do that on purpose, put music on there so people don't stream them. Yeah. Dutchman, tell me not to go zip lining. Tell me, please. I need some someone tell me not to. No, hey, you he said you're going zip line. You can't be back. <laughs> hey, hell no. Nah. I won't do that little blonde box right in <laughs> people, girl. I was hoping someone <laughs> says, Cleo, don't go. <laughs> hey, hell no. We all want you to go. Girl. Don't you worry. I'm going to fall in the water. No. There's water on there. <laughs> You're going to be strapped in totally safe and just ride down that water. How do you know? <laughs> because everyone else does. There is water. Or maybe they close already for winter. <laughs> and you know what? If you're in water, good thing. Because it is cold up there already, right? Yeah. yeah right. A lighter ball. Yeah. They don't care. They want me to freeze for YouTube. Mm -hmm. They want me to do all kinds of jumps for YouTube. You see what I mean? What kind of subscribers oh I have? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna freeze my butata for YouTube again. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> oh my god. But it's what, be it, it's better to hit the water than hit the ground. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. but I, my equipment. I, I might go viral if my equipment goes with it and me, you know. Um, it just means you have them on string, man. You go right. And you need to call it in and ask what's required. Oh um, my God. I I I know I have to call find out definitely. Yes. Um that way you're not surprised if they're not open, you know, something like that. Yeah, maybe it's close <laughs> and we're gonna get lucky. <laughs> I'll call them, Cleo. Don't make me do <laughs> Maybe it's close. And, <laughs> yeah, right. And, <laughs> and then, and then I just gonna go to the restaurant today because the zip line's closed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking after that going to Mexican restaurant, you know, because they have amazing Mexican food. So, but because we see... the zip line's closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna drink pina coladas tonight. Hell Sorry yeah. about the zip line. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it happening, girl. <laughs> but but one, we okay. can't we can well, hear you. Don't you don't want to the damn zip line, then you don't do it, girl. You do with what you want to do. Thank you. So, yeah, you can't you can't hear me too because my mouth is the my mouth is full of gummy bears. Oh shit, Dutchman! <laughs> I will say, I uh, you know what? I you're gonna get whooping from Patrick New York because you're supposed to <laughs> push them, not not eat them. <laughs> yeah, he said he's gonna. He, Patrick said he's gonna kick my ass so hard, I'll, I'll be wearing it for a hat and puking out the <laughs> green gummy bears. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta grab me another Corona. Right All back. Right. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Damn. <laughs> well, I'm back at my table. No, I hate, hey, uh, hey, Doug. Yes, sir. And I, I was saying, I was saying earlier, uh, 
uh, that uh, we we had seen Ricky earlier today around 11 Arizona California time that he was on Facebook and then and then and then Cleo gave him gave him a whooping that uh, to make sure he was going to go over to YouTube so we could see him uh, uh, smoking his pot and having a great time and boozing up in California. Hello, Rory. Good day, everybody. Hello, Good day, Tasha. Everybody. How are you? I'm Natasha. I'm good. I'm okay. And you? I'm doing well. And now everybody is so quiet. Am I quiet? Did I say something? Tasha's yes. awake from no. the bus ride. No. This, is Tasha, this is Tasha, not Tanya. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong one. Wrong one. Tanya never came back. She must have fallen asleep and gone past her stop. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. Yes, Tasha. No, I'm just um, enjoying the sunrise here at the moment. So, Cleo, are you going to uh, live stream this weekend? It, yes, I said, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> don't remind me about the zip line. I don't know. Well, that's the right, girl. If you don't want to ride that fucking thing, then don't do it. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. There's few, I think, maybe two live stream this weekend, too. And maybe, maybe, do like a, I'll maybe do like a premiere, premiere on YouTube or something. I'm going to say something. Um, daughter, okay. if, we don't, if we don't engage, they'll get bored. Cleo, you show some really pretty stuff. I like that. I like looking at uh, Montreal. It's very beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah. And Montreal is beautiful, especially in, in summertime, you know? I've and, never seen such an empty city, though. I've yeah, never seen Yeah, so it is empty. like that. Canada is like that. There is, you know, we have less people in the whole Canada than in California itself as a Whoa. state, you know? Yeah. No wonder why it's so empty. Yeah, I just think, go. I mean, that, that's kind of scary. It's spooky. <laughs> so, Tasha, the sun's rising in South Africa? Yes. Okay, what is it? Is it, is it uh, 7.30 in the morning? No, 6, 6.34. Yeah, okay, 6.34, okay. Yes. You're you know me, I can't. Yes. How are you, Tasha? Hi, Dutchman. Hi, Clea. Hello. Hi, Jay. Hey, we love your elephants. Hello, Natasha. Hello, Natasha. Sorry, there was just a truck pause, but I couldn't hear you guys. But I like everybody in the panel and in the stream. Sorry, I can't see the the the, the chat. So if anybody greets, like I always say, I can't no, see the wait, chat Tasha, at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Here, wait. Try this one. Hi, daughter of two. Thanks. <laughs> that will help because I can't see the chat at all. Hey, Cleo, you ever thought about going to uh, museums and stuff? I did. Yeah, I will. I will look into that. There's a few things, but also the resort, ski resort. You know, in oh uh, yeah, we really love that. Yeah, in winter time, I'm gonna go skiing and slide on my butata. Yeah, for you to pick up. He doesn't seem like you have much faith, girl. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Damn. Hell no. Hey man, just put a just put a pillow on your ass. You'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, when I was, I strap it, strap it up there, girl. That strap it up. You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of those pretty deep, so you don't hurt your uh, boots and top. Boots and top. <laughs> yes. Hey. Usually, that's what people here do. They go skiing. You know, uh, in winter time, or basically they, uh, you know, go to south warm countries. You know, right? What do you prefer? Warm countries. <laughs> <laughs> Clear, didn't you must definitely come to South Africa because it's very hot here, yeah, really oh, hot. Wow. Oh, I believe it. It gets hot in South Africa. 
<laughs> very hot. I mean, okay, well, I'm saying it's not that hot, but where I grow up and where I was a week ago, it was very, it's very hot. And it's spring, and, and I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but in the degrees, I can tell you it's like 38 degrees, and that's spring only. Hey, Twist. Twist is in the house. Good day, buddy. Yeah, I'm surprised that Jimbo isn't here. Listen, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm just going to make some coffee and things. I'll that's be back fine. in a few that's minutes. Fine, Joshua, we'll be here. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Good to see Take you. Care. Bye, Natasha. Bye. Are you going to walk your dog up, Cleo? No, not right now. Not at this hour. Not right now. Not today, actually. You know, it doesn't look like it wants to go. <laughs> it doesn't look like it wants to go. <laughs> Hey, you walking his ass today, shit. You want to walk my dog, Terry? <laughs> That's messed up, man. Dutchman, you look frozen a little bit. I am, I am, I am. You are? If I can't, if I can't. No, we can't hear you. Yeah, you're mumble. But... You... He has he has gummies in his mouth. He said. Mm -hmm. I guess my my camera's frozen. Uh, your sound is broken. My camera is frozen. Your oh, camera your is frozen. frozen. Okay. Well, I'm free. Some other fucker does me shit. Wait, but man. <laughs> Put it in the microwave. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I, I, I my phone phone <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, this coming weekend, who else is gonna watch 4K at 10:30? Oh, me! Saturday, and he's live streaming Saturday and Sunday. So, dang, you know. Yeah, he's gonna be down where all the partiers are at, and all the fights, and arrests, and parties. Yeah, but so, you know what? He might, be, he might be on the beach, or he. Oh no! He actually he said he's gonna be after game. There's San Diego uh, game. He said it's gonna be after game. I think yeah. live streaming. The, play, the playoff between the Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Yeah, exactly. But the Astros are going to Seattle now. Yeah, but still, Saturday and Sunday, they there. Right. Cool. So that That's should be probably. fun. It's always fun, you know what I mean? There's some, like, YouTubers on, on YouTube day. Well, Cleo, if he's filming 10.30 at night, he's not filming a baseball game. It won't be live. Because after the baseball games don't play. Really. Yeah, no, after he said he will not film the game, he's gonna film after. So basically oh. afterwards, yeah. All right. uh, uh, here, he's gonna be he'll be live streaming around 10 30. Means he'll be downtown filming all the shit up Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking to go inside and film a hockey game. Do that. You know, because there's a lot of, of it in Montreal and um, you know, like around the areas they have a lot of you know, like I'm talking about like the, the stadium, the big I don't know thing. what happened to Rory. Yeah. I better go back and look. I don't know, Rory. What are you worried about? Hey, Cleo. Yeah. I prefer you uh, fly down to Florida and film the uh, the bikini volleyball team. <laughs> you know, you go to there. I'm just saying, man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, Terry. <laughs> I think you have more fun, and it's nice and warm. 
yeah i'm sure it is what about i fly to new york and uh, go uh, ice skating <laughs> how about that well, you need to fly over new york right <laughs> <laughs> Forget about New York, man. Forget about New York. <laughs> Things are not good in New York right now, man. Okay, what about you. Vegas? Vegas is, looks good. That's where we're supposed to get married, man. What's up? What? <laughs> Yeah, you ready to go? Let's go, girl. Oh my god. It'd be a clicky bit. <laughs> at drive through wedding at the at the Vegas yeah, at the at drive through wedding, girl. <laughs> so I don't know what Rory was worried about. He made a few statements, nobody seemed to bother him. I'm not sure why he left. Whatever. Oh, like, he was in the live chat. No, yeah, he was in the he was in the chat box. A guy named Rory. Yeah. No idea. No, I, I didn't see anything wrong with what he said either, Doug. Yeah, I, 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 he just left. Yeah. Now, how come you can have a drive-through wedding, but you can't have a drive-through divorce? Oh I my know, God! Right? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I, I got I got my second divorce cost a uh, hundred and ten dollars. Oh. Hundred and ten dollars. Neither of That's us hired a, a lawyer. Right there. Neither That's of us deal. hired a lawyer. All we had to do was pay the court fees to file the papers. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. That worked out pretty well. Because yeah, our think. our kids had to go to college, not the lawyers' kids. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so I'm thinking Bikini Beach Volleyball. <laughs> you got to go to Hermosa. I go somewhere, shit. <laughs> you ever play volleyball, uh, Cleo? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you yeah. not just go, oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> Hey, that's a fun sport, man. It's pretty cool, actually. No. She's an expert at playing spin the bottle. I spin the <laughs> spin the bottle and pedaling. Yeah, pedaling well, is good. Well, Cleo is a tall lady, so I'm thinking she'd be really good at volleyball. Well, I'm five seven. That's pretty tall for a woman. Wow, they are taller uh, than yeah. me. Usually, usually, like the gals in, uh, you know, in the Olympics and the competition, though, Terry, they're they're anywhere from five one to six foot something. Yeah, they are. What's that famous uh, volleyball player, Terry? Her name's Terry, right? Uh oh, what Terry. happened to somebody's mic? Somebody's echoing horribly. Yeah. Echo. Echo. Echo, 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 echo. Echo, echo, echo. Nobody's echoing. <laughs> <laughs> Today, day, day, I feel, feel, feel. It, it sounds like somebody had their uh, uh, gonads uh, torqued up a couple of inches. It's possible, man. Nowadays, everything is uh, on the table. <laughs> So they had their had their balls in a bench vise. Yep. <laughs> so Cleo, what what were we drinking tonight? I am not drinking. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I met earlier. I didn't drink anything. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was, I'm tired when I'm tired, I'm, I'm buzzing, you know, like I'm tired, you know, okay. that's what it was. Was it no vodka or gin no, no. or rum? No. <laughs> no. Well, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> But on vacation, pina coladas for sure. Mm. Well, what kind of pina colada do you like? Well, the one with the grenadine, you know, the red 
on top, you know what I mean? And, right. and ice, you know, and it's, it's basically tastes like a, a slash almost, you know what I mean? How long will they make that with tequila, don't they? But, no, I, I don't know. You can ask, I guess. But usually they make it with rum. Oh, rum? Yeah, they make it uh, rum and they put pina colada, you know, the, the mix, whatever, right. and then um, they slash it, you know, or whatever, and then on top they put that red stuff, which is grenadine, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. margaritas, margaritas are made with uh, tequila. Uh, tequila sunrises along with the song tequila sunrises. Oh, tequila sunrises are good. Yeah, they're real good. I like tequila sunrise. Tequila sunrise? Okay, let me try it. But if I get drunk again, that's going to be Patrick's fault or someone's fault. Or oh, you get drunk fault. off of tequila sunrise. Oh, shit. Just blame it on Terry this time. This I time. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, your girl. <laughs> I, have to, I, have to, I have to blame it on someone. <laughs> exactly. Just like my ex-wife did. <laughs> oh, Dave Barber. Yeah, margaritas are made with the uh, uh, pretty sure of tequila. Yeah, blame it on Jack too while you're at it. She loves to be blamed. She's part of the team of uh, blamers. Who? Dot. No, Dutchman, I told you, Dot, we cannot blame for anything. <laughs> Dot, um, yes. Yes, we, we wanted right. yeah, want to be nice to Dot. <laughs> oh, but she loves it. She's a masochist just like the Patrick and I am. No, 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 no. <laughs> a masochist? No, no, no. She's a nice. <laughs> Okay. I guess good right? No, I only uh I only blame you guys, my moderators. That's all. Huh. Well we can pick a podcast and if you can too. You cannot choose and pick. <laughs> Daughter of Truth, why aren't you up here, girl? Bring your pretty up here. She's at work. Oh Aww. that sucks. I can yeah. understand that, that's for sure. Yeah. Today is Thursday. That's why if it was Friday. I mean, it almost feels like a Friday, doesn't it? Well, we yeah, but Doggy Dog is making panel usually on, on Thursdays, right? right. Yeah. Yeah, Thursdays and Sundays. Yeah. I live for Thursdays now. <laughs> Thursday is like almost Friday, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah. and now it's Friday. Hey, we Friday already. Hey, but he had his, he had his live stream on the on, on the front porch today, so you never know when Doug's gonna be on anymore. I think I can go to Eagles Club tomorrow and drink uh, Honey Jack Daniels and Coke. That and we good. <laughs> and we Sounds dodged good. the Friday the thirteenth by one day. And I know, then, right? And totally tricky, right? Exactly, Twitch. Tricky, church, church. tricky might be live streaming from LA. Yeah, from uh, the jail. Do you think? <laughs> no, I, I, I hope so. So, so who knows the uh, history of Friday the 13th? Anybody? Oh, well, no. What is it? Only Friday the 13th. Anybody know the history of Friday the 13th? No, what is it? I do. What is, what is it? it, Dougie? It was, uh, it was the day that they cracked down, uh, the Inquisition came down. You're close. Keep going. They came down, who they came down on the Knights Templar. Yeah. And they, and, and, and they arrested, arrested them in several countries in Europe all on that day. Yeah, you're correct. And they, and they um that was uh yeah, Friday the thirteenth. No, nope. you're close though. You almost what do you mean I'm close? close. They had the leader and they were gonna burn him at a stake and they're I bet you I can I bet you I can name some of the temples that were arrested before that they hold on Dougie, before they burned him at a stake, he told the king and the Pope, You will die this year. And he cursed him. And that was Friday the thirteenth. And then they burned him at the stake. I could probably name some of those temples that were arrested that day, but I got to think about it for a minute. 
No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. No one. <laughs> anyway, that's where Fred is. <laughs> Good old Monty Python. Yeah, that was oh, great. Bob, no man. one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Love teaching John, too. Yeah, I miss teaching John, man. They had some funny shit. Damn, that Corona tastes good. I got to see Cheech and Chong on a live show in 2009. That was great. That must have been good. Yeah, it was. I remember they put out the first album. Man. The wedding album? Fucking paper. Me, you know what? Oh, that, okay. was, that, was, big, that was Big Bamboo. You yeah. know, Terry, talking about the Friday the 13th, me, I was thinking, you know, that you're going to go that you know why the uh, friday 13 is unlucky you know in a bi biblical tradition sense you know but you went with something else like historically and biblically it's a different thing yeah. you know well yeah it could be i mean uh but uh that's where the, uh, the, world the difference between the difference between history and superstition yeah hey, you know that uh can you say it the leader of all the Templars, the, you know, the boss of all the Templars, he cursed uh, the French king and the uh, Pope. And they both died that year when he did. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. So that's where Friday the 13th really came from. And people start taking it as a uh, superstition, you know, whatever. Well, both of the days, you know, why is Friday 13 a lucky day or unlucky day? There is like two meanings of it, you know, and that's what I was thinking about. So that's why I asked, what is it, you know? But, yeah, some people have lucky days on Friday 13. Yeah. No, most don't. Originally, the 13th was considered a lucky number, and then it turned unlucky for some reason. Yeah. Well, I just told you why it turned unlucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, king and the pope actually died that year like he said they would. He cursed them right while he was burning at the stake. Well, in, you know, like, like I said, in biblical sense, it's different. It's like, you know, you know, 13 guests attended the Last Supper, you know, basically, including Jesus. And, you know, there's a Biblical, biblical sense in different way, but obviously, obviously, some people consider lucky, some people consider right. unlucky. It all depends. Yeah, it depends what happens to you on that day, and that's how you'll judge it. Yeah, you know what? But the movie Friday the Thirteenth was. Uh, I can't watch that movie. You know? That's a whole different story, girl. That's a freaking Literally. whole different story. Jesus. Jesus had 12 disciples. That makes 13. The original, the original American colonies were 13. Yeah. yeah, they just came out with a new movie. Uh, I think it's starting to play with Jamie Lee Curtis. What's that? Uh, the uh, Jason. Remember Halloween? Mm -hmm. I don't want to yeah, remember. Natasha's here. Well, uh, they got a new movie with Jamie Lee Curtis. Hey, uh, Natasha. Well, it's a new extension of Halloween. It's Hello, coming. Natasha. You came back. Welcome back. Look at me. Look at me, No, you're good. Stay here. Okay. Hello, Natasha. You guys can go. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. And how are you? Great. It's good to see you Just again. Yes, my ear was just had some problems with my ears a few two days ago, and it's a lot better now. So if I go to like this, it's not because I'm retarded. It's just because I'm struggling to hear some things. Because <laughs> I only got at the moment I only got one ear that I can listen to. <laughs> so I have to hey, turn so my head like that. You're in South Africa. Yes, I'm in South Africa. 
Uh, you and, okay, you guys. Is Europe going to affect you guys? Say again? Is all this uh, oil pipeline from Putin that going into Europe and shit, is it going to affect you? Yes, we do. Yeah, it does. Some of it. Because 40% of Europe's going to freeze this winter. Okay, so I love you how cold it is out and up in the north here. It, here in the south, it's very, very hot. Cool. That's a good thing. So if you get the, if you know, for uh, oh, I always say, so if the Canadian people, like Cleo, she's getting, it's, it's very cold for her, then she knows exactly the opposite is with us. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, right? Um, I love the summer, spring and summertime. I love. I'm not. I'm not. The thing is, I don't. You guys get cold like snow. We don't get it here. We don't get. We. I don't see snow where I'm staying now. No, we get I don't snow see here it. during the winter time. That's for sure. So does Cleo, man. She gets a lot of snow too. Yep. <laughs> I don't get any snow. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. North Pole, Northern Arizona. Northern Arizona, yeah. yeah. Higher elevations, yeah. Hell, you want to hear a funny story? You want to hear a funny story about snowstorms and snow? You know, yeah, we, we get a lot of snow here, okay? And, you know, sometimes you, you can't see the cars, you know? People go outside and they shovel the snow from the car. And my one of my neighbors was shoveling the car of his neighbor. He didn't know, <laughs> you know? He thought it was his own car. <laughs> I'd be he like, goes, you, man. Yeah, he was swearing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I'd be like, Thank you. Yeah. 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 you can show me. Yeah, I, I, I saw a TikTok about it. That the, I saw a TikTok about it that some people. No. Yeah, I saw a TikTok about how it. There's yeah, also a housewife in South Africa. Like I said, it snowed, more, okay, I won't say last year, this year, our winter, it snowed, like, I think it was less than 100 kilometers away from us, it was snowing, and we get, like, really, like, minus, like, okay, the, the lowest that I know when I was here, it was, like, minus 9 degrees, but it didn't snow where I'm staying now. It's very, very cold. I'm I'm staying close to a river, they call it Morefir, yo, and it's getting very cold, very, very cold. Wow. In the winter. Yes, which in the winter. Yeah, we can, which is like July and yeah, August. And we, in like July uh, and August. Yeah, June. No, not actually August. It's more like June, uh, for May. May, June, and July. Okay. Yeah. But like I say, um, i got a lot of plans. Hopefully, my sister's going to come the weekend of things. I'll see my sister and a few friends. So, uh, cool. Let's hope so. So how was your you trip know, last weekend? How was your trip last weekend to the lake? It went very really well. Um, it's it's actually not a lake. It's a river. Um, okay. Uh, I think I'm not sure. It, I know it was in my previous channel. Uh, my previous channel, I put a, put a post on, but I'm gonna put. I got new uh, photos. I, I just asked Twit or somebody to help me to put some photos. I put all my photos together what I've taken because I, I start doing photography for in my spare time. I really enjoy that. Hey, and yeah. you can you can also. Um, uh, Dougie about it. He saw some of the photos already, mm -hmm. and he can tell if it's good or not. Cool. Cool. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is Montreal worth coming to see? What? Is Montreal coming worth coming to see? So definitely, definitely, especially when you want to <laughs> go and pedal on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good on that. Are you gonna see Tricky? Are you gonna see Adam? 
Yeah, Terry, Terry, what you got to watch out is Cleo will take you up on that uh, Ferris wheel. He'll kick your blue ta ta clear out. The, I know the, that's right. He's on the way. Or send me down that damn zip line she's been avoiding. He's, 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 he's yeah, over 3,000 yeah. miles away from me. No trees. How many miles? 3,000. That's a hole. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. I'm right below sure. Columbia. What? I'm right below British Columbia. Mm. Well, New, New York, for, for me, it's not that far. You know what I mean? By plane or by car. It's like driving to Toronto. Oh, I don't want to Well, Cleo, if I go to Montreal, I will contact you. You can show me around that city. Very beautiful. It is beautiful, Terry. It is beautiful. I think so. I will call. But it's got to be more lively, man. You got to know some uh, clubs, bars, clubs, something. <laughs> Terry, the, the 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 minute you coming to Montreal, I won't be here. I'll be on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, girl. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, girl. That's it, man. I follow you. Doctor, girl. That's <laughs> right, What part of Phoenix you in? I'm just joking. I I I'm in the I'm in the, actually I'm in the East Valley. Okay. I'm in Paradise Valley. Yeah. 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 You're about 40 miles uh, north of me. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, you off like out. You off, you off like out in Queen Creek or something? Something like that there. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That place is, is exploding out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in East, in East Mesa, East Mesa. I'm gonna go to sleep, <laughs> you know. I'm All right. to sleep. I leave you, I leave you be. Oh, you're going to Good sleep? Night. Are you leaving? Yeah, night, I, 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 I want I want to sleep. You know, I supposed to sleep, I was sleeping, then I woke up, went to the loo, and then you know woke you can't sleep. Yes, I can't sleep. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Shit, you know. Are you are I, you gonna buy stream tomorrow, Cleo? I don't know yet. I'm gonna I gonna see, but the weekend for sure. Cool. We'll be cool tomorrow. Too. I I we'll think I'm doing I, I think I'm gonna do like a premiere video tomorrow and the weekend I will stream. I will see. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have there. fun. I'm going. I'm going back to sleep. Car museums, airplane museums. You know, Good night, Cleo. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night, Bye. Take care. Bye. Now I have taken over this live stream. Yeah, you can have it, bro. <laughs> we're going to raid Doug's icebox and steal all this beer. <laughs> Dutchman, did you get any of that storm the other night? Yeah, we did. We did. Oh man, that was awesome. My neighbor's verde tree split right in half, and one half of it came down on my truck. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we, you know we get a lot of those green. What do they call them? Manzanita trees. Yeah, they don't last very well here, especially in those high winds. Yeah, they snap right into it just like a uh, wind. And you know, when you travel on the road... And you yeah, nice to see you too, Queen Bee. Always. Guys and gals. You're going all over the country. And it seems like you get this feeling of you against the world sometimes. You know, in the early oh, days, we yeah. stand, meet wherever we went. It seems like the police were after us, the unions, uh, the uh, promoters, you know. It was a all right, I'm back. What's up, people? Stuck together. It was tight. But we left... Uh, 
whole day. Yeah, it's mostly in the Bay Area, of course. And to come back home. Uh, uh, Pastor, Pastor, you know, in, in East Mesa, uh, the, the big, uh, uh, I forget the name of the company now, but they're the one that's building the, the big, gigantic uh, uh, lithium battery company. Lucky as I would. Yeah. So we've got two Arizonans here. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, we're about 20 wow. miles apart. Wow. You all need to get together sometime, man. Have some, uh, well, I, I know he wants to get with me, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But, Not in my way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking beer is good. Beer suit is not winning. <laughs> I, I only paddle on one side of the canoe. I know that's right. <laughs> so I'm thinking Hooters, beers, and hot wing. There you go. Pastor doesn't want to be with a mongo like me. I'm having a hard time understanding you, Dutchman. You're cutting in and out. Yeah, you are a Dutchman. He's right. Can't understand you, bro. I'm going to pause the military space and uh, my battery. Oh, so I, I got to charge it. Uh, well, you need to fucking fix it, Dutchman. The fuck? <laughs> Get your shit together, man. God damn. <laughs> I know, right? Just buzzing, just, just buzzing you out, bro. <laughs> Don't come up on a professional panel half-ass like that. Don't be half-assed, man. <laughs> charge that damn battery, motherfucker. <laughs> should charge that shit this morning. I know, right? <laughs> you knew Doug was going to be live tonight. God damn. Here you are fucking around with a dead phone. God damn it. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you try to teach him right. Judgment, right? You... you you try to teach him right from wrong, and goddamn. <laughs> you fucking Arizonans, <laughs> man. What's up? <laughs> We're a strange breed, man. Yeah, man. I love you so much. <laughs> hey, man. I live in Nevada, man. That shit was killing me. Can <laughs> you trade up, man? Oh, I love Nevada, man. I love that place. Yeah, I used to live in Reno, Stars, uh, Fernley, Wadsworth. Yeah. For a long fucking time, man. We did some work up in Laughlin. That was a fun place. Mm-hmm. You want to talk to anybody. Pretty close to that prison, ain't it? Yeah. It's just desperate. Yeah, you don't want to fuck around in that prison, man. <laughs> no. Yeah, OJ was there. I like Laughlin though. It's just like a little version of Las Vegas. You know what I mean? It's. But they got your sure things there. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. I can't say much more than that, right? Without turning it into porn. <laughs> <clears throat> well, hello, Mary Downer. It's nice to see you tonight. Don't be such a downer, Mary Downer. <laughs> I'll let you be coming up by now, girl. Come up here and talk to me, Mary. Yeah, DOT. <laughs> is how he looked at life sometimes. Well, he was very intelligent, of course, you know. And uh, as a writer, where did Dougie go to take Lakers cigarette? Oh, Dougie has this problem that doctors call excessive masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the bathroom with the latest copy of Jugs magazine. Oh, he's Damn, I ain't heard that name in a long time. 
<laughs> Jugs, my God. That was what Al Bundy used to read, remember? Or Biggins. Yeah, yeah that was Al Bundy's I love that fucking series, man. Married with Children. <laughs> Yeah, he got married and knew his wife was doomed. <laughs> yeah, he was fucked when he got married. <laughs> nice, to, nice to see you tonight, Mary Downer. Jerry. Where'd you go? Know? You, went along. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can't leave us alone without adult supervision. I know what the fuck. We'll see what you think. Tell me what it was like for you growing up. I gotta listen to some music. You know, just a crazy drive. Doug is gone. Survived it. Cleo's gone. Well, I gotta go, bro. <laughs> Cleo left, so you know, I no longer belong here. <laughs> Cleo, Cleo's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's, she's very beautiful. Sweetheart. She's really not just pretty, but uh, she has a beautiful heart. Smart as fuck. That's what I mean. She's sweet on. She's sweet on the inside. Yeah, she is. That's really hard for a fucking woman to find, man. It really is. Hi, Tesh. Did you have a solid bowel movement today? I know. <laughs> yes, sir, enough of that. I'm sorry, Doug. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doug. <laughs> I know he's your friend, but he's not mine. <laughs> I really don't. I, I really don't give a shit personally. <laughs> Dougie, how you doing, man? <laughs> well, that hair is getting bigger and bigger, Dougie. That's what she said. That's what she said. I, I missed all of that. Your hair is getting bigger and bigger, man. I'm afraid we're listening to the big, the big Steve hour now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys. I got to go listen to some fucking music. I'll talk to you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> See you, <ya>, Terry. <laughs> See you. <ya>. Bye, Terry. <laughs> Damn. Mary, how did I get scorned? Okay, that's fine. No worries, Dutchman. <laughs> Hello, Wolf, man. Absolutely okay with me. Aren't you the police officer? He's a police officer in California, I believe. Okay, that's cool. I'll never forget it. When you took me out, you received a pass, and you were going to this incredible marijuana. Because we, at that time, it's okay to have a little bit of marijuana. Yeah. 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 Ye
I don't want to hear the big Steve hour. He um, Alexa, can you play Channel Twenty Six on Sirius? Let me try this again, Alexa. Can you Chicken play? shit. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Classic vinyl. I'm gonna get a copyright violation. Creedence Clearwater Revival. That's it. Alexa, up to. Doug, what was their name before they were Creedence Clearwater Revival? Like like the Mud Huckers or something. I forgot. They were called the Gollywogs. The Gollywogs. Okay, yeah. That, that's right. Um, I would have come up with that eventually. <laughs> who, were the, who were the Mud Huckers? There was someone else. Well, there was Mud Crutch. That was Tom Petty. Okay, maybe was, Mud Crutch is what I'm thinking of. There was Mud Honey. They were from Seattle. I don't know that I've ever heard of a band called Mud Honey. But oh, Mud Honey was great. The, the breakup. Some people the, told me Strawberry Gristle was great too. The breakup of Mud Honey and Lazy Susan created Pearl Jam. I got it. Yeah, Mud Honey was great. So was Mud Crutch, that band that Steve, that Tom Petty put together. Mud Crutch was fantastic. Natasha, I'm not upset with you at all. I see your question. No, no, dear, yeah, I'm not I, upset I, with I you. I don't know all. what that's about. I don't either. I'm not upset with anyone. I'm going to get a copyright violation for playing this music. Just delete it when you get done. I can throw the stream out, but I don't generally do that. That's how Tricky gets away with it. I guess so. <clears throat> he throws his shit out every night. So, yeah, you can't, you can't tag him with a copyright violation. Okay. Credence was a fantastic band. Hey, Kenzo, how you doing? I don't think it's about Susie Quattro, no. No. I don't think Susie Quattro was even born when the song was written. <laughs> Probably not. Wasn't Susie Quattro? She played uh, Leather Tuscadero on uh, Happy Days. She did, but that was a role she played. Yeah. Yeah. But that was her. That was her. That was Susie Quattro, yeah. Yes. Um, I guess she, Leather, she needed the money. Leather Tuscadero and the Swades was the name of her little band on that show. Probably. I couldn't remember a song. <laughs> I remember that for some strange reason. Okay. Doug, I want to ask your Alexa a question here in a minute. Tell me what it is. I'll ask her. Ask Alexa if Mary Downer wants to get in my pants. I'm not going to ask Alexa that because it's futile. <laughs> right? I mean, it's like, you know. I just thought it would be entertaining. I don't think she'll answer it. That's what I mean by futile. 
<laughs> What's the strangest question you've ever asked her? What is the airspeed velocity of a sparrow? And what did she tell you? African or European? <laughs> She's has, she has to get specific. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a sabbatical. I'm going to be several minutes. Do you want to stay up here or do you want to go down? I'm going to leave the chat open. Are you trying to get rid of me, Doug? No, you can come back when I come back. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's I'm cool. going to be Whatever. a few minutes, so. Whatever. You stay up there? I up can you. hang out. Can I you can read the out. chat? Yes, I'm looking at it right now. So so be nice to the people. Doug, I'm always nice to people. Nice is my middle name. All right, Doug's gone. I control this live stream. Now you people shut the hell up and listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Downer coming for and talk. <laughs> Gurf, why aren't you up here tonight? Mary Downer, why aren't you up here? Natasha, Dutchman, why aren't you all up here? Can't go wrong with the Almond Brothers. Doug has a problem that doctors call excessive masturbation, so he'll be back in just a little while. Johnny Dogballs, how can you say this song sucks? Because I'm going to say that you suck. Thank you. 
Johnny Dog Balls, that song doesn't suck. You do. So those people played their music for their babies in their nurseries, in their cribs. And then those babies grew up, and those babies played Rumors and Tusk and Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac for their babies. And then those babies grew up, and then those babies played it for their babies. I mean, all the babies just grew up. And I've watched them grow up. I've watched, like, little tiny Rhiannons that are this big. And now they're, like, grown up and have two kids. It's, like, amazing. Natasha, you can ask any question you'd like. Yeah, let's get into this na Harry Nails story. I'd like to hear this myself. Who's got hairy fingernails? I want to hear about this. I do. Ma, she looks so fine. And you know, maybe someday she will be all mine. Johnny, I'll give you that. Clutch, Clutch does an outstanding version of Fortunate Son. You're absolutely right. Thank you. 
Since it, you have hairy toes. That's that's like foreplay. <laughs> Mary Downer is one of the sweetest girls in the world. If you don't know her, you should get acquainted with her. Welcome, sweetheart. Nobody beats Led Zeppelin. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Alice Cooper. That's only because you're easy to be kind to, sweetheart. Yes, daughter, Randy Rhodes. I'm sorry he died in that plane crash. I think Randy Rhodes was, what, 24 years old when they crashed that plane? You know, that was a waste. That was a terrible waste. Yeah, Dutchman, uh, Alice Cooper lives on Camelback Mountain. Yes, Bonzo, rest in peace. Exactly, Mia.
Doug won't be able to replay this live stream tonight because he's going to get copyright violations. Phoenix, Arizona on October the 30th, and I hope to see you all there. Mary from the teeny chat room comment. Yes, she's a fantastic lady. Okay, I've taken over this chat room now. I want everyone to take their clothes off immediately. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your shower, Sin. We'll see you when you get out. <laughs> Good night, Gail. I know you don't care for me, and I don't care at all. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> ah, OK. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm having dirty thoughts. I want to hear the gummy bear story. Do you drive an ice cream truck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dutchman, we need to get together sometime. Seriously. I'll drink you under the table, but that's a different story. <laughs> Great song. Tales of Brave Ulysses. Come up here for a minute. Quit being a chicken shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure Dutchman is quite aware of what the weed we have out here in Arizona. <laughs> Take it with you to the heartland of the winter. Damn it, Dutchman, I was counting on you. Hello, everyone. Doug is gone, so welcome to Pastor of Mappets live stream. Muppets, Mappets, whatever. Fuck, you know how you know what I'm saying. Come up here for a minute, Mary. I won't bite you unless you want me to. <laughs> I'm 
Ooh, Mary, now you've got peer pressure. Ooh. Dutchman, even if you like to drink, we can hook up and do that too. <laughs> I'm not hard to get along with. <laughs> Twit, that was good. <laughs> Do you really want me to call you Mary the chicken shit for the rest of time? Alexa, down one. <laughs> Alexa, down one. Alexa, down one. Oh, Doug's back. Fun's over. <laughs> yeah, fun's over. <laughs> How are we doing here? I, I was keeping everyone in control, under control while you were gone, Doug. That's fine. I think they'll be pretty good, mostly. And no, one, there's sure. no, one, no one looks to be in here I'm too worried about. I made sure no one got out of hand. Okay. Mary was the only one who got out of hand, but I'm trying to get her to come up here on your panel. Come up here, Mary Downer. I'm going to go get, get a glass of wine while you think about it. You do that. See where we're at. Thank you. 
I better read some chat. I'm not reading chat. Sorry. Why, Mary Downer, what do you have to fear from me? Okay, hang out. Hang out, Doug. We got something going on here. I know. I'm not out of the loop. <laughs> Pastor, I'm not, I'm not out of the loop. I know, Doug. Listen, she can come backstage, and then we'll figure it out. She'll, she'll get her camera shut off. It's no worries. I'm not going to put her up here, you know. If her cameras on. I'm not going to put her up here if her camera's on. It's all good. She has to come backstage first. Well, it's not like she's camera shy. I mean. Really? She was on Tricky's one night. Yeah. She didn't have a problem with that, so. How's the chat doing? I'm not paying much attention. I'm all wrapped up in other things. The chat's horrible, Doug. People are saying shit about you and me and everybody yeah. else. It's just, I, it's just gone off the rails right now. <laughs> But Dutchman, you and I need to get together sometimes. Seriously, you name the place and we'll hook it up. I'm retired. I've got nothing to do but drink all day. So you name the place. <laughs> I wonder how many copyright violations I'm going to get. You should probably you should probably erase this tonight, Doug. Well, I don't Seriously. have to post it. I could not post it. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. That's the same thing Tricky does. He, mm -hmm. That's how you keep him from getting violated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you're playing copyrighted music tonight. So, <laughs> yeah. I have been. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the hip hop. Free balling. <laughs> Twit, that's a good one. <laughs> I 
Next week is Tom Petty's birthday, man. Have a little respect. Tom Petty's dead. <laughs> I know. All too well. He dropped dead like 24 hours after he did a show, or less than 24 hours. His final show of his, his tour, yes. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Natasha, please say something rude. Please. Okay, I'm just tooling around through YouTube here. Whatever happened with that other thing? Nothing, right? I don't you know. wouldn't bore me, Dutchman. I'll just put gummies in my drink. <laughs> I guess I should be paying more attention. Natasha is going to tell us her deepest secret on Monday. Okay. Mark that on your calendar. Let me just say, um, Monday's Natasha's 43rd birthday. Happy birthday, Natasha. I hope that's not her deepest, darkest secret, because I just revealed it. But I, I, I don't think it was, to be honest with you. 43, and she looks like she's 23. There you go. Uh, Monday is the 17th, I believe. Oh, she says no. I thought your birthday was Monday. Is Monday the 17th? There you go. Doug, so full of misinformation. No, I think I, I'm, I know her birthday. <laughs> I know her birthday is October 17th. That might not be Monday, but it's very fucking soon, right? Yeah, What's soon today? enough. Soon enough. Today's the 14th. She just said, yes, it is my birthday. So there you go. Oh, you, were, you were correct, Doug. Right. Who do you think this is? Happy birthday, Natasha. It's the Rolling Stones. <laughs> it's who gives a fuck. That's who it is. How oh. are you? I know her. <laughs> Hi, Dougie. How are you? Hi, Pastor. Hello, G-A-F. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you tonight, sweetie? It's fantastic. I know you are. So, uh, thank, you, thank you for coming up on the panel. Thank you for having me. More than welcome. <laughs> I'm afraid we're listening to old Rolling Stones. It's Angie. Right? You should play that for Angie Fox when she comes on, Doug. You know, Angie Fox, I think, came up on my panel. She has been. I, I, know, I've been, I know I've been on hers. Um... I didn't know she had a live stream. Oh, she does. She was live today. 
Angie I'm Fox has a live stream and does panels. It's like I do. I'm trying to get around, Doug. Give me a break. God damn. I know. Yeah. Listen, I can give you the link tomorrow when we, we go to the other place. <laughs> okay. I can't, that's do, cool. I can't do it here. <clears throat> that's cool. But I'm happy to give you the link. Now, this song at certain times might bring tears to your eyes, right? That song depending was on, written. That, that's, that song was written for David Bowie's wife. Yeah, at the time, his wife at the time. Yes, but of course. Anyway, we don't have to go there. But, and they yeah. thought, and, and everybody thought David Bowie had two different colored eyes. When in fact, he was hit by a bully when he was a child, which it caused his pupil in his one eye to expand, which makes it looks like. He has mm -hmm. two different colored eyes. And when Mick Jagger was 16 years old playing basketball in school, he bit the tip of his tongue off. Yes. And he was told he would never be able to sing. Yes. And he's singing the song now. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Music, music, music trivia, right? And and I'm Freddie Mercury. Terrible with the trivia, Pastor. And, Terrible. And, and Freddie Mercury had those horrible buck teeth, and he wanted to get them fixed, but he thought that it would ruin his singing voice, so he left them the way it was. That's what I heard, too. Yeah. Um, you, know, you, you know, I guess some of, it, some of it's well documented. Well, Freddie Mercury died in what ninety two or eighty nine was it? And it was like three or four years later they finally came up with the the uh, cocktail for AIDS that didn't kill you. And yeah, if he could have only held on another three years, um, I think he had it like in the eighties, and back then nobody knew anything. Yeah. So. Who is who is this GAF girl anyway? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> hmm. Really? Like who who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's who good to hear you. Who gives a fuck now. who she is? <laughs> it's good to hear you, sweetheart. <laughs> good to hear you too. <laughs> I know I know exactly who that is, but most people don't. <laughs> but it's all good. I, th I think that's it. I, th I think you have to end it with a question mark. Exactly. It is a question. Who yeah. gives a fuck? Yeah, it is a question. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> oh, Johnny you're so gives a fuck. She's adorable, isn't she? <laughs> mm. Oh, we're listening to some old Jefferson Airplane, though. We are now. Pretty soon, I think the Big Steve Hour will be over, and I put the dead back on. You know you know about the Big Steve Hour, right? Uh, I'm not familiar, no. On, on the serious... Uh, the, the channel, the Great Oh, Adventure. serious. Okay. They, yeah. They have a daily show. Yeah. Or maybe twice daily. Or I'm maybe. XM. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's like, it's more than you want to hear it. <coughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Garf, Garf, you have, you have a lot, you have a lot to give. You just need to uh, put your head up a little bit and look, look over the horizon, buddy. Hey, Garf. You you're down talking on yourself. Listen, you're. Gurf, you're talking about not being able to drive your car anymore. You can you can modify your car to be operated by hand instead of foot. You can still drive your car, dude. That might cost money. I know it costs money, but there are also government grants that will help you pay for that shit. Especially if you are disabled. Yeah, there are government grants that will help you pay for that shit so you don't have to pay for it and you're still able to drive your own car. I'm just saying, I would like to see him be able to do that. That would be great. I, I know that people without legs can drive cars. I know this. Ex exactly. 
But I also know that nothing is easy. And some things are harder than others. And it's, it's deaf people can drive a car, but it's illegal to drive a car with headphones. How does that work? <laughs> is that it's by state, I'm sure, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. But what you're, about you're you? Supposed, um, who gives a fuck? Do you drive your car with your headphones on? You're supposed to be able to hear emergency vehicles. That's why they say you can't wear headphones while you're driving. But yet they allow deaf people to drive. <laughs> I drive my car with my knee. She drives her car like a top fuel dragster. Yes, Tasha, I'll go live on yeah. Monday. Top fuel dragster. Yes. Because I leave the house at the last second to go where yes. I have to go. She's got like she's got like three minutes to get to the store, and yeah, she'll jump in her car and. Just fucking nail it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I don't blow the horn the whole damn time. <laughs> what are you blowing the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, inquiring okay. minds want to know. If she's not blowing the horn, what is she blowing? Not a big concern of mine. I have that. I have the device I have to blow in before I can start the car. Before you can even start the car, right? Yeah. So <laughs> make sure I blow good enough before the car starts. I was going to say, I have a device she can blow on before the car starts. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe, I, think, I think we're making Dougie's chat X-rated. Maybe I should go. He's starting, to, he's starting to, that's for sure. Why am I the only one talking? <laughs> are you, you going to kick me out, Doug? Yeah. Nope. Banned, banned for life. <laughs> Don't ban me. I get banned everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mary, you're adorable. Who? I said, Mary, you're adorable. Who's Mary? Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> who gives a fuck? Yeah, you're adorable. <laughs> Good night, Natasha. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh shit! Who's Mary? Take another hit. I, I don't know a Mary. Who the hell is that? There's something about Mary. Yeah, that, that's what they say. They even made a movie about it. But who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Doug, if you only could see my matching screen name to that. <laughs> God. It's not that hard. Yeah, I know. Nice commercial. Alexa, play the Grateful Dead series channel. Did you know that Queen has the oldest surviving uh, what is it? Uh, fan base of any rock band in the world. Oldest surviving fan base means more people over 70. Well, the oldest surviving like fan group, fan club, whatever. Yeah. Queen has the old, and Queen is the number one played band in worldwide rock radio. Yeah, 
the number one played band worldwide. Worldwide rock radio. Queen is the number one band in the world. Yeah, I don't find that hard to believe. I would have guessed Led Zeppelin. Um, you might have been close with that, too. Because I don't consider Queen to be in the same ballpark with Led Zeppelin. Well, but it's not up to you. It's up to uh, the world. It's up to the it? worldwide, right? I mean, uh, I know. It's because, of course, it's subjective. Yeah. I wouldn't surprise me to find the Queen had as many fans or more than Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Whether they ought to or not is a whole different story, right? Well, Queen Elizabeth admitted she was a big fan of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Yes, and what an admission that was. Yeah. And she knighted Elton John and Paul McCartney. She did. Um, short step for the Queen to take. I think much of the world are big, fetal, big, big, big fans of the Beatles and the Stones. Yeah. Right? Much of the world. Because when you compare the music that England put out to compare to the music that America put out, what do we have to compare with them? The only thing we have is Aerosmith and the Eagles. I don't know, because they were all blues bands. They all emulated the Southern blues bands. Well, yeah. Not all, not all of them. But, I yeah. mean, the Animals, you know, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles yeah. even, they all started playing, you know, Southern blues. I mean, without Muddy Waters, the Rolling Stones wouldn't exist. You'd think they would never have had an early hit, right? Yeah. Exactly. They emulated everything Southern blues rock musicians did at that time. Um, other bands like that, even. I mean, even the Grateful Dead have their roots in, like, yeah. bluegrass yes. and blues. Yes. You know, they had Pigpen in the beginning. Yes. I've been to record stores and they had Led Zeppelin in the blues section. Maybe the early albums. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I mean. I don't, I don't. I don't think all. I mean, presence doesn't belong in the blues section, right? No, but I'm saying. But in the early days, they were so influenced by American Southern mm -hmm. blues musicians that yeah, it just that's what spawned the British rock. They were listening to American music and then put their own twist on it. Well, Eric Clapton, right? Yeah. Let's take him as a prime <laughs> example of a British musician who did nothing but play American music. Yeah. Right? But if you want to talk about one of the most talented bands that ever lived, you have to look at the Yardbirds. Yes, they had more talent in their band than most bands have. Like, <laughs> exactly. You know. um, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, well, of course, Ch mean, Chandler Jimmy produced Page. The animals. Chandler produced the animals. Keith Rolfe yeah. played with um, Who Sang Carpet of the Sun? Who was that band? Billy, Billy Thorpe. Mm, no. Oh, that's uh, Children, Children of the Sun. No, Carpet of the Sun by a band called okay. Renaissance. Okay. Um, Remember Renaissance? That was Keith Rolfe. He was a yard bird, mm -hmm. right? Chandler produced not only not only the animals, but also in the early days, he produced Hendrix. Chandler yes. was the bass player for the yard birds, right? Yes, yes. Then, then they had three, <laughs> well, three of the best guitarists to come out of the era. <laughs> yes. Right? Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page. Of course, Beck was an American, is, is an American. Yes. Beck's not English. And I've always said, as far as all around guitar players, if you want to play rock, if you want to play country, if you want to play blues, whatever, Jeff Beck is the best guitar player in the fucking world when it comes to that. Yeah. Um, I never saw Jeff Beck, but I want to. I don't, I don't know if I'll get the opportunity um, we had an opportunity lately. I think about two years ago, he was supposed to play, 
But I think the show was put off for the COVID shit. Yeah. I've never heard of it being rescheduled. Well, he's going to be here November the 1st with uh, Johnny Depp. So that's going to be a cool show. I know you're going, yeah. Hey, what's, yeah. A, what's that song with um, Heart and who is it? Heart? <laughs> Heart and what? Oh, I think she's he talking made, about... He remade it. Th- Heart remade it. For that I guy. She, I don't know what you're talking about, Mary. He said, Heart was a band with two women. Audience. I think you were referring to earlier. Stairway to I, heaven. It's stairway to about, heaven. I think you're talking about when the Kennedy, the Kennedy, stairway to heaven, the Kennedy Center Honors. Yes. When yeah, when Hart paid tribute to Led Zeppelin. Yes. A lot yes, of bands have paid tribute. A lot of bands have paid played paid tribute to Led Zeppelin. That was a fantastic show. That that song gave me. I still do. I, I can watch it right now, and it gives me the chills. The girls mm-hmm. from the like, girls it from can Heart. Make me cry. The girls from Heart are massive Led Zeppelin fans. I think a lot so of people are massive song, Led Zeppelin. Look, look, <laughs> yes. look that up. It, it, they, David Letterman is sitting there. Yeah. And Michelle Michelle Obama is sitting next to who is it? Is it David Letterman? Yeah, her husband. Well, yeah. Yeah, that was a fantastic yeah. show. <laughs> okay. That video is so spot on. I mean, it just it gives every time I see it and watch it, it, it like honestly it makes me sick to my stomach. It's so good. Well, you think about and that. He sits Hart, there and cries. Hart's first album, Dreamboat and Annie, was forty six years ago. Well, you know why he made that video. Well, you know why he made that song. Who? Who made what song? Who? Who, who made that song? Who that made Hart what song? Stairway to Heaven? The song I'm talking about. Yeah. Still, yeah, what about it? Because his son because his son died. Oh, you're talking about Eric Clapton. Star, Tears in Heaven. No, I'm talking about... Eric no, Clapton. you're talking... Eric Clapton's son fell from a high-rise... In New York City. window and died and that he wrote the song Tears in Heaven. I think that's what you're thinking about instead of Stairway to oh. Heaven. Okay. Maybe I am. Yeah. His son, his son Connor It was in yeah. Manhattan. Fell out of the window. Yeah. Fell out of the window. They said that he actually blew, flew across the street and landed on the roof of the building across from it. No idea. Yeah. He didn't fall and land on the street. He flew across wow. and landed on the building across. Was that a function, was that a function of the of the wind? Yeah, I'm sure it was because he was a small boy. He didn't weigh that much. Mm. That's sad. Yeah. But I think that's what you're talking about, Mary. You're talking about oh, Eric Clapton's son. You're talking about Tears in Heaven, not Stairway to Heaven. You keep, you keep saying Mary. I don't know who you You keep talking. I don't know who this. Me. I don't know who this Mary bitch is either. But I'm sorry. I keep saying that. I mean, you keep saying Mary. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Fuck? Uh, uh, who is this Mary bitch? I keep saying. I got to stop this. I'm sorry. <laughs> you must really like our Mary bitch. I guess so. She seems to be on my mind for some reason. Okay. You two stay put. Don't go nowhere. <coughs> um, Where are you going? You're going back in the attic. Nope. You all just stay right here. Don't worry about a thing. Do we have to go? Do we have to switch over but, to your channel Mary, and go in the I'm attic right. with you? <laughs> um, who gives a fuck? Relax. 
Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to the people in chat because I'm going to shut it down, okay? So, um, thank you all for okay. coming. It's uh, Stormy, Dutchman, High Test, Johnny, Sinset. Thank you for being here. All right. Goodbye, goodbye everyone in chat. All right. Mary Downer's in chat. See you later. Yeah. Mary Downer. Bye, Mary. Thank you all for being here. See you later.